Remind me to hit record. Stop eating one more. Tell me when we're on, I'll stop eating. 10 seconds. Here we go. Oh, well, I saw you know your. I, I saw it come up on my phone, so we're going. Yep, we are live. But we, what do we say? Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh. Good Where are you at in the world? <laughs> I'm Nicole Sackage. That's and I'm <laughs> and I'm Grant Cameron from Canada. And we have Melinda Leslie here. Hi, Melinda Leslie from Sedona, Arizona. Hi, guys. Sedona, this Arizona. is our day two, Hello. part two, going okay. through the advanced theoretical physics working group notes. Yesterday was Oak Notes, and today is Jack's Notes. And oh my God, everybody, Melinda, right here. <laughs> I want you to start off. Seriously, I want you to start us off and tell us about your friendship with Jack and how you got these. Notes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just going to say right before I went on air and, and uh, that uh, we definitely needed to go over the um, backgrounds of, uh, of Grant. Uh, it, just in case we've got people who, who didn't he hear you on Jimmy Church last night and didn't hear you guys yesterday or didn't catch all of it or whatever. I think the, the backgrounds of, of how we know this is is. Uh, is, is important and people will want to know. And uh, so we need to clarify that and, and put to bed any misconceptions about all that. I want to start with why it came forward because it speaks to a lot of things currently going on right now. Hang on, you guys. I'm really quickly, I just realized I'm operating off the battery on the laptop and, and that may be um, not a good idea. So I need to get it plugged in. One quick moment here. Oh, we don't want technical difficulties. Yeah, go. yeah. Well, and as Before it is, I'm doing this in my office of the Center for New Age, which is infamous for lagging. Um, I'm going to talk to Internet chat for a moment here. We slowly people are starting to trickle in and I want okay, to. Great. Hey. Oh, please. Yeah. Welcome everyone in the chat. Nicole, please okay. do that. We will later in a couple hours, maybe. Um, we will do audience participation questions. We know we're going to go through a lot of information here, sharing Melinda's or Jack's notes that Melinda has, and we are going to kind of compare them to the notes that Grant has and that we've already been talking about for the last couple of days. So please, I know if you guys want to ask questions as we go along, I'll try to follow in the chat as much as possible. I'm going to try to let Grant and Melinda just start going in on this. It's so much information. I know everybody yes. got a taste of it last night with Grant and Jimmy on Fade to Black. And we all know Melinda called in on the break. So, you know, <laughs> circle of information happening already. Jimmy, Jimmy called me back later. You're such a troublemaker. We were, it was very, we were being very funny with each other. It was great. So so you're a queen, was queen of troublemakers. I said, I wear that crown proudly. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Tom's in the chat. Tom is here. Well, well, hello, Tom. Hi, Tom. So I thank you, everybody, for participating and being here. And yeah, I'll let Melinda start. Are you ready to give us? Okay, your sure, sure. Well, I'll start with um, first, I just want to say uh, I came forward with these notes. Oop, we lost Nicole. I'm here. Well, she's just going to okay. watch. Gonna gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. She's okay, gonna, she's, so she's going to be a lurker. Okay. Well, no, I, I want I want her involved, man. I want her <laughs> comments. Okay. Yes, okay. Right. Okay. Um, so I came forward with these notes, which were Jack Houck's notes from the Advanced Theoretical Physics Working Group meeting at BDM Corporation, 1985. And now I had had these uh, since Jack passed. Um, Jack Houck was a, a friend of mine. I can go into that background if you want me to, mm -hmm. um, but but um, when I realized so much was being said about Oak Shannon online and Twitter, Facebook, before before Jimmy Ando was even and Project Unity were going to do the interview, 
um, we didn't know anything about that, but but it was coming up and you had shared a, a couple pages and uh, people were looking at my history of the working group uh, information where I did publish uh, like three of the pages in my presentation, but that's it, uh, three or four, let me think about that, might be four technically that are in there, but, but I have actually like 17 pages, so it's four of 17. And, uh, and it's like, uh, I realized because of Jimmy doing that and doing the, actually before that, let's go before that. So starting about a month ago, people started talking about it and I had it on my to-do list grant to call Grant Cameron, who's, you know, we're very close. We talk periodically, but I hadn't talked to you in a little while. And I had it on there, call you about a couple of things, but one of them was to say, I think we should go public with our notes because it was being talked about so much and the Oak Shannon part of Wilson Davis was being talked about so much that I already said, let's go public. I already had in my notes and I'd just been busy and I hadn't called you. You and I, you know, I literally always have a running list of like 20 people I need to call. And there's probably a top five list and you were on there, you know. Oh, wow. So it's like, yeah. So it was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I just, <laughs> I get busy, you know. And so, I mean, you and Jim Semivan and Dan Sheehan and, you know, I got these people that I need to talk to about various things right now. And, uh, and so, and I did have a great talk with Danny and had breaking news from that that I went forward with with Thomas Fesser that was a three or four nights ago when I did that. So, um, but here we go. So I realized um, that we, you know, we should, and I was going to call you and say, I think we should, why wait, you know, this kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, so I, and that remained on my to-do list. And all of a sudden, Jimmy Ando announces he's going to be doing this interview and I'm like, oh, shoot, now we got to, you know, and uh, and, it, and it moved up to numero uno on my to do list. And next thing I know, I saw you put online, I'm going to go ahead and go forward with the notes. And I'm like, ding, 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 ding. So that's when I picked up the phone and called you and said, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for about a month. And I was going to twist your arm to do it. I'm so glad to hear you say you're going to do it. And then I said to back you up and to back up Ando and his interview with Oak Shannon, I said, first off, I want to just put it out there, everybody. I've been talking to Jimmy Ando and I told him, I said, you know, that was absolutely heroic that you did that, that you got that interview, that the man, you know, trusted you, um, you know, kudos to you. you. You scored, you landed the interview, great job. And, and you got him to admit that yes, he not only knew Wilson had talked to him, and that he had been, and that he did so to 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 vouch for Eric. I said that's ding ding ding. You know, you, you accomplished that, and more power to you. Um, but to back him up to say, hey, I have supporting information about Oak, um, and I know that's why you did it too, Grant, because we realize. And pardon me, everyone. <coughs> I'm getting over bronchitis. I if I start talking a lot. And if I start laughing, and I've been doing both here this morning, <laughs> so it gets this, it'll make me start to cough. I have this nagging cough hanging on because I'm, I'm over bronchitis, but it's just got this nagging cough. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, and occasionally I, I have something to drink. So if it gets going and I have lozenges, so I can uh, address it if necessary. But going back to, so I said, let's put this out. And you'd already gone out and said, I'm going to release them. And, and as soon as I called Grant and said, you know, I've only gone forward with three or four pages out of mine ever, and they're in my presentation about the history of the working group, because you guys out there, for those that don't know, I have been researching the history of the working group for 30 years, along with my co-researcher, Randy Copang, and since day one of our research, we kept an ongoing timeline of every time we heard anything, learned of a new development, Either of us had contact with anyone in the group or any abductee that I knew had contact with people in the group, I was making a notation. So we have this extensive, and we were meeting other people doing that research or have come across certain things or had conversations about it with various members. In fact, that's that had a lot to do with why Grant and I were friends because Grant and I were always sharing that research. So. Um, and so this moved forward. So long story short, when, so with Ando doing that, I know we both wanted to,
to put our stuff out there to support what he did, to support the significance. Why does it matter? And I know we're going to get into this more, but the significance here is, is Oak Shannon and why he was a go-to person for vouching for Eric and, and to, to have the meeting with Wilson. So he was telling Wilson, I vouch for this guy. He's legit. I know him going back. OK, and he knows him going back, even though a couple of people like Joe Merger have pointed out to me, Eric wasn't involved in NIDS at the time. But it's like you guys, NIDS was a continuation of the working group and very much so. And so is Bass and Asat and Atip and going back to NIDS and before that, the Bigelow group. And before that, you know, what we know is the working group was nicknamed the Avery by some researchers. Anyways, there's this history and we can go into more of that as we go. But. But the purpose of our doing this today, and you and, and I think Nicole and Grant will, even though I haven't run this by them, I think they'll agree with me, is to support the reality of Oak Shannon, his significance in that document. It is why when Grant, and you can go into more of your story, but when Grant was first shown the document by James Rigney, Grant said, oh my God, I know this name. I had the same reaction when I was first shown it. Now, Grant and I were not seeing it for the first time together, but the first time I ever did see it, I knew right away the significance of Wilson Davis because I knew who Oak Shannon was, and I knew that meant that this was the working group, and I knew that, and I was like, oh my goodness, I know what this is, and, and yeah, let so there read, you go. Let me read Jack's bio real quick here. Okay, and perfect. I'd like you to tell the story of how you guys formed a friendship, and then we'll just start. Sure, dive sure, sure. So we have George Jack Brandit Hauk. Is, am I saying his last name correct? Is it Hoke or Hauk? Hauk. 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 Okay. And he died March 26, 2013 at the age of 74. Jack is a retired. He retired after 40 years, 42 years of being a systems engineer for Boeing, the aerospace company. He had a master's degree in aeronautical and astronomical engineering from the University of Michigan. And independently, he was a researcher of the paranormal phenomenon. Jack is a originator of psychokinesis parties and is yes. recognized as one of the foremost authorities in the world on the subject. He has given more than 360 of these workshops to over 17,000 people during the last 23 years of his career and maintained meticulous records on each of them. Yes. And I have, I, it's rather long. I have it here and anyone can freeze frame and zoom in on that if they want. This was written by John Alexander, you know, originator of the working group, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, um, for uh, about Jack Hauk, it's an obituary basically for the SSE journal. SSE is the Society for Scientific Exploration for their journal, and he wrote an obituary. But adding in here more about Jack's professional background, I'll just paraphrase because I don't need to read it all. That I, I can tell you that Jack headed up what was called that it doesn't say this necessarily here, but advanced systems anal analysis for McDonnell Douglas Aircraft Corporation, um, and then later for Boeing when when McDonnell Douglas took it over, and right under him, immediately under him, and this will matter later, his immediate underling who took over his position when he retired was Bob Wood, mm -hmm. Robert Wood. So, um, and some people already know that, but. But Jack was Bob's uh, boss. I was going to say wife. My goodness. <laughs> that may be more true to that. No, but no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his boss. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll read this part here. Um, um, okay, let me, uh, here we go. I'm just trying to paraphrase a little bit. Uh, Jack held many positions, in cre increasing responsibility at Douglas Aircraft Company. Um, and uh, as a rocket scientist initially involved in missile defense and in 1972 was selected as one of the authors of the S Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, SALT. So he's one of the authors of the SALT Treaty, which was to reduce, you know, during the Cold War to reduce the arms. And there was SALT 1 and SALT 2. So he was one of the authors of that. Um, and for more than two decades, Jack's simultaneously managed a number of extremely sensitive defense and intelligent programs. 
During the period, again, this is per, I'm reading, this is written by Alexander. During that period, he formed the advanced research group um, that engaged in evaluating da data of foreign rockets and associated weapon systems. So that's that was what he headed up there, McDonald Douglas, that's what I was saying, um, the advanced research division there. Foreign rockets associated weapon systems. Later, he became involved in a risk management expert on large classified space systems. And his final position was risk manager for all the company's satellite systems. So, you know, he's, and yes, he is also the founder of PK parties and known for that, which is gets to how I knew him. Um, Jack was, that's a perfect kind of segue there. Jack, um, and there's more. I mean, this is a rather, long bio like I said I can hold I'll share up, so. that we'll link yeah. that in and yeah this might be a good time to mention um haha, did you write it down the UFC database did I say it right Isaac's database the oh, yes yeah that's right database. and I didn't get it yet let me see if I did I texted Isaac to give me a link let me see if he sent it to me yet well, nope. we'll we'll put it in the in the chat. Just describe what it was. We'll oh, add, I, yeah, we'll add John Alexander's. Uh, yes, uh, yes, <laughs> he gave it to me, but it's rather long, um, so we will have to add it. I think people will be able to find it if they're out there looking for it. Um, but there's a direct link, but it's a long address. Well, let's, let's put it in the in the uh, chat so people can I'll pick get, it up. Yeah, in the chat. I'm getting to okay. that right now. I'll drop it in. Okay. Um, did you get it too, Nicole? From yes. him? Okay, good. Okay, yeah, because he sent it to me. Okay, so there we go. There's there. It's a long. It's a really long link. So Expl explain who that is. Nicole. Explain explain who Isaac is. Why 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 He's the documents? Digital are there. archivist. That's what I'm gonna say. He works with a bunch of people over in the UK, and they source people's archives, digitize any you know letters documents, okay. anything and that they would have. I'll just make a, a, a short comment. Uh, yeah. Nancy Tremaine, her entire collection of all her regressions, um, all her stuff. Uh, there was two books written on her. She was the first, she, she was abducted two months before Betty and Barney Hill. Her stuff is in there. I, I helped provide that. Uh, the Clinton files, all my Clinton files, which I've never read, are I think up now all the, from all the FOAs from the Clinton library, they're there. And I'm about to give them a collection on all the Wilbert Smith stuff from Canada. And he ran the Canadian government UFO program and the files from uh, um, a researcher who worked with the, the files. So there's a bunch of stuff going up there, interesting stuff. For example, the Clinton stuff, uh, nobody's ever read it because I didn't read it. So there may be something in there that's kind of significant and uh, people can go there and find all sorts of files that they're trying to get everything up online where people can read it. Yeah. It's uh, AFU archives for the unexplained. And I'll drop the link in right now to our chat room and I'll put okay. it. In the so Melinda, let's yes. jump to how did you meet Jack? Okay. Okay. Wife, now, and right before I say that there's students. <laughs> right before I say that there's one other thing that I, I, I wanted to say that I meant to earlier, which is, I'm, I'm saying this to all the researchers involved. I, I know that Grant and Nicole feel the same way I, I do about this. And this is what I talked to Jimmy Ando about. And if Dolan sees this or is listening now, I want you to know this as well, anyone else involved. This is really important evidence regarding Wilson Davis, the meeting happened, how and why. It, it's it's just a, a fine point, but it's, it's the importance of Oak Shannon and then why Oak Shannon matters is he was a member of the working group. And so Grant's documents are more significant in this, for this reason than mine because his speak to actually, he had Oak Shannon's notes. And so, you know, but mine, Jack Houck's way, the reason I'm going forward is it's additional information about the working group. And by the way, that was not lost uh, on Jimmy last night uh, on Jimmy Church, for sure, he totally grasped it, but that that um, mine coming forward again is to support that what Grant's notes say in them, because I thought we would have more overlapping of shared things. No, there's only one page we share, and it's the one that's up right now, so that's perfect, perfectly timed, Nicole. <laughs> that one, the agenda, is the only one that both of us have, and and all the other pages are what I have from Jack and what he has 
you know, handwritten notes from Oak. So, and so together they make a more complete set and tell us even more about what was going on at that meeting and why. And again, the whole point here, you guys, is it backs up the significance of Oak and, uh, and why that matters and why this is supporting evidence. Okay, there we go. So Nicole, going back can, to- Nicole, can you uh, try to minimize that uh, our window where we're, we're in? There's a little minimize there and you can get maybe more of a screen. I, maybe, I'm already minimized on mine. On mine, well, I- on, on her thing, she's got the, you know, we're just above my picture there. There's the, you can minimize that whole block of, no, down, down below, down, down, go down, 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 right, down, down. This? It's right above my. my I can't phone. see you. I don't see any of you guys. <laughs> okay, oh, well, it, on it, my screen, what I'm seeing is I see the agenda page up and then the three of us. Yeah, are we, can, the we right can minimize list. the three of us there. There's a minimize. Well, we are button. minimized. We, we are. We are minimized. We're pretty small on my screen. So I think that looks great. No, I think you can actually make us disappear. But I can't. Well, I think. No, I think it's good to have our little talking heads no, up down there. below. You were just. Did that no. do anything? No, no, that no, just that... reduced it, makes it harder to read. So that's no. not good. No. Oh, well, I just don't even know how to undo what I just did. So just go, oh, back. Shoot. Just go backwards. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Escape. Escape. <laughs> there we go. Top, top, top left. <laughs> no, not getting... a technical person. <laughs> Girlfriend, okay. you're making it smaller. It needs to be bigger. Say enlarge or. Right above this the thing, there's an alarm, a plus button there. No, we're right in the middle, right in the middle above the screen. Okay, this one. one more over there. There you go. Go again. Needs to be bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. I bigger. don't see this reflecting <laughs> on our YouTube. Am I behind? Okay. Um, everyone out there in chat, let Nicole know. I'm not reading the chat, but I think she is. Yeah, it's there. If, I... if it looks good, if you see agenda really big and you see the page and yet you see our little heads over to the right. If everybody's seeing it the way I am, I think it's perfect. Yeah, I think you can make the picture bigger yet. The, um... Yeah, I think so too. Go okay. Plus, plus, plus. Two more. There we, yeah. Two more. There we go. Three more. One more. There you go. Yeah. Okay. For people who have smaller screens or. No, yeah. Okay. okay. Maybe too big. Might people be too like big. me that are can't read okay. far away yeah yeah well and if anyone's looking on their phone but they can, you know all okay. right we are all right need a producer. all right very very good you guys yeah we're, we're getting i know we need a producer we get that that's for sure okay okay we got it ready okay go okay, back to how okay. you so got going back so i said got that off my chest thank you yeah for the good of the evidence what you guys we need to work together as a team for the absolute good of the evidence this is historic evidence Wilson Davis is so important. That's why, you know, Galger brought it up during the hearing. We're, we're tag teaming today. That's right. That's right. Today. That's why everybody, that's why all this is happening. Today. And we're all a team and everyone's on the team because it's not about us individually as personalities. It's a hundred percent about or a thousand percent about the evidence. So there we go. That's as that's we, as we used remain. to tell the kids in hockey, there's no I in team. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You've got it. Okay, so now tell go. us how Jack taught you okay. how to <laughs> I will. I don't want to go into a lot of detail there, but but um, no, skip that I, detail. Like, come on, give okay. me the goods. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. You guys, we're, we're all friends. We're, we, we'll give okay. each other a bad time, but we love each other. Okay, okay so going back to um, I took Jack Hout's psychokinesis class, and I also took remote viewing from him. That it's a more involved story. But it started with someone I know who said, hey, there's this guy doing this thing at someone's house. I went to that. And, and then um, he did it at a new age, new, new age educational center in Southern California called the Helix Center that I was involved in. And I went to that. So I was going to things in some people's homes and I was going to things at different educational centers. And, and Jack Houck was teaching the PK for psychokinesis and the PK parties was the name of his events that he would do because he would create like a party atmosphere and psychokinesis is mind over matter and it was specifically spoon bending affecting metal with your mind which by the way i teach now regularly and i teach it here in sedona and um and i learned it all and the first hour of the class that i do is all about the history science theory you know i get into all about the history how i learned it all about jack 
and and then from there and and i knew back then that jack was involved because he talked about it at stanford research institute and going there and that mr mcdonald was interested of uh, mcdonald douglas was interested in the remote viewing program and sent jack to check it out etc and so Jack had a big involvement in that community, and, and I learned that over time from him initially. And then, um, and then I was taking these classes. So that was my background with how I knew Jack. I knew him for many years. I never knew he had any connection to the UFO subject until going and hearing Ed Dames give a lecture for MUFON Los Angeles. I was at the time taking a remote viewing class from Jack Cow, which I also. Uh oh. Uh oh. Melinda. Pause, Melinda, and refresh. That's okay. Names in LA at SciTech, an advanced teacher of his. I also took it from them. So not directly from Ed, but from one of his teachers. Uh oh, it says internet connection Good. unstable. Okay. Can you hear just me keep okay? talking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure if it, if it tells me that I'll make sure you can hear me or if I need to repeat something. So, so I, I became very involved in remote viewing and everything. And, uh, and then I was at this at uh, Dame's talk again, I'd known Jack for years. I had probably known him at that point for 20 years or so, you know, and yet never knew he had any connection. And then all of a sudden, I'm hearing Ed talk. I wait till the questions afterwards because I was currently taking a remote viewing class from Jack uh, in Anaheim, uh, California. And, and so I said at the, during the questions, what about Jack Houck's method, blah, 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 which was a little different. It wasn't really the technical remote viewing that Ed was doing. And, and Ed kind of shot it down a little. Oh, he teaches something different. It's not the same thing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I thought he was kind of brushing it off but i'm like okay and never mind so i never made any more of it at the end of the lecture everyone's breaking up we go outside i thought he him and, and his girlfriend at the time were long gone and i'm hanging out in the back of the room talking to people as they're closing down putting chairs away everything you know and i eventually go to go to, in my car because i have friends that went off to go to denny's afterwards and said we're gonna be waiting for you and i go to go and and there was a, a gate to a parking lot where everybody had to funnel through a narrow area. And Ed was there, you know, holding court, if you will, you know, talking to a bunch of people. And I went to just go, excuse me, and go past him. And he stopped me and he said, oh, are you the one that knows Jack Houck? You guys, I was being set up, <laughs> which I did not know at the time, but now I totally get it. Um, I, I think Ed, <clears throat> like you said last night, Grant with Jimmy, maybe he had been there just to present something, but he was, you know, part of this group uh, to whatever degree involved. I'm not certain. Uh, there'd be no way to know. But, but when he said, oh, do you know Jack? He then said, can I tell you about something that I was involved when, in with Jack? And he goes into, this is the first time I ever heard about the working group was from Ed that night. And he told me a lot in a short period of time. And he gave me a whole list of names of people involved. He, he, not a whole list. He mentioned about 10 names, but it was clear he was mentioning names he thought I would know because he says, oh, have you been in the UFO field long? I said, yeah, Barry. And he goes, okay, well, so he started rambling names, including Jacques Vallée and Bob Wood and, and Hal Putoff and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Kit Green, you know, he's naming these names and I'm like, whoa, you know, I, I, I knew who all these names were. And I'm like, so what was this? He goes, and the way Ed talked about it, he made it sound like it was MJ-12. I mean, he was like, what, you know? And I knew I was being told something extremely significant and extremely sensitive. And I'm like, dang, why is Ed tell me what Ed didn't know? And I had not said when I got up at the mic and asked questions that night earlier, I had never said anything about currently taking a class from Jack. So Ed in the parking lot says, do you think you're gonna see Jack anytime soon or talk to him? I go. Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, you know, I don't talk to him very often, you know, whatever. I kind of said it like that. And he said, well, if you should see him or talk to him, be sure and ask him about this. He said, I think his response will be very interesting. <laughs> Loaded gun, right? Okay. You know, and, and, he, and I'm like, okay, well, of course, you know, I barely sleep that night. I'm chomping the bit because I have a class the next the very next night with Jack and I stay afterwards 
and Jack's putting stuff in. I, I would often help him set up for the class and help him put stuff away afterwards where he's doing that. I hung out, everyone else is gone. And Jack realizes I'm kind of like hanging out, like maybe something's up. And, but he, he's just doing his thing. And I said, Jack, there's something I have to ask you about. And he's got his back to me putting stuff in boxes. And I said, and I, and he goes, what? Well, I bring all this up, long story short. I bring all this up, I get into the working group. I get into, and you guys, this was back in the nineties, all everything I'm talking about. And, and, and Jack goes ballistic. He was so mad. I actually thought Ed was going to be hurt. I actually thought Ed just put his life in danger. I mean, Jack was so, and I knew Jack. Jack was a very mild guy. Never get upset. Very mild, easygoing. You know, you could say, you know, milk toast. You know, and uh, and and yet funny at times. But you know, so it's like, but he was livid, and he got so mad, and he leans in my face, even goes. Why on earth would he tell anybody ever about the group? And he's like looking in my face. He goes, especially you. you know? <laughs> yeah, Jack knew me. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, um, and and he and then he said, and, and he said, what else do you know about it? And I said a couple things, and I went on about what Ed said. And, and so Jack ended up going because, he, he, you know, we're pretty good friends. So he said, OK, all right. You know, and he and he admitted to it and told me some additional stuff. Well, what he didn't know is his like the next night or two nights after that, I go to a move on L.A. meeting where Bob Wood is and I confront Bob Wood about it. And then there's that whole discussion, you know, that was just like, what, you know, and uh, and what ensued there. And then I knew some people at the time who were working in Texas with Hal Putoff. I, I knew of two people and I made connections to them and told them and, and they approached, they're not people in the UFO field and here they work with Hal and they approached Hal about it. And Hal apparently went ballistic, like how do these guys know about this thing? You know, And, uh, and then another researcher years later approached Hal on my behalf, but this is how this started. And eventually I show up at a lecture in San Diego, like you know, within a year of that, I show up at this lecture in San Diego where um, uh, uh, at the time uh, John Alexander was talking. Now I knew all about John Alexander at the time, but had never met him. So the first time I met him was after this lecture he gave. I approached him outside outside the lecture hall, and um, and he denied any knowledge of it like five or six times. But every time he denied, I gave a little more information like, well, this is what I've got back from Hal, from people talking to him and getting back to me. This is what Bob Wood told me. This is what Ed told me. This is what Jack Howe told me. And it went on and on. So long story short, and then, and then I finally, that day, we were walking from the front of the building to the you know foyer, blah, blah, blah. And then we actually went out and stood next to his car. I eventually got john alexander to admit it all and go okay yeah you're right you know a lot about it yeah it was my group i was the director after he'd already denied it five times so there you go so that <laughs> yeah yeah so that was that's and the, you guys that's a very you know reader's digest condensed version for sure the whole story but um that's how it unfolded and and i was sharing that with my friend good friend randy coping at the time who's an incredible researcher i got to be friends uh i've been friends now many years um you know, since all that um, with Daniel Sheen, because Randy was already uh, helping Danny and doing research for him and had all, going all the way back to the Christic Institute days, et cetera. So he had a long background with him. And so, you know, so I started having conversations where I was also sharing stuff with Dan Sheehan. But, um, but there you go. So that's kind of in the nutshell of, of my knowing Jack and Jack's connection to this story. And, and then, so how I got these notes, I'll say that really quick, I think that's important, is, is um, when Jack passed, his wife, Jean, uh, another friend of mine who was kind of in on some of this, and I was sharing it with all along because we've been friends for many years, is a researcher by the name of Steve Paldoros. And Steve and I were really good friends. We originally met out at Area 51. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You know, we met out there, um, you know, going out to Rachel, Nevada and having sightings when in 89 when the Lazar story first broke so that's uh, you know that the breaking the Lazar story and my going to Area 51 in 1989 is also how I met people like uh, you know Bill Hamilton and also 
Steve Proudoris and my friend Mike Contreras and others. So, so Steve, I was sharing this with. So Steve became very good friends with Jack. He was going to his PK things, and would offer help. And and Steve even came better friends with Jack. I mean, yes, I was friends with Jack, but Steve was even better. Would go visit him, got to know his family. So when Jack passed, Jean, Jack's wife said, "Steve, I found some files stuff, um, and I've gone through it, and there's nothing." You know, I don't think there's anything classified, you know, so I think, uh, you know, I've you know, that's not a problem. And these are some of his, you know, files at home from work. And she said, um, uh, and she goes, it looks like there might be some UFO related stuff. You know, would you want it? And of course, Steve, you know, er, you know <laughs> jumped his car, goes over there. OK, gets the two file boxes, proceeds to go through them and then calls Randy and I says and with a stack of things he's going to go over with us and says, I think I found some things of interest. Now, now, of course, everybody, I need to go back and uh, ask Steve what else was in there. And I even need to go. I live in Arizona, but go to California where he lives and uh, and look at the rest of the stuff to see if there's anything else given you know everything so but until i do that but steve knew about the working group because we randy and i had been telling him about that so he immediately recognized that and he said i found some real interesting things so he took them and made copies and i went over to his house and uh, i was living in uh no i wasn't living i was here when uh he must have shipped them to me now that i think about it yeah he, he sent them to me but anyways so i get this envelope in the mail yes yes that's it um from steam and it and it has the whole you know set of stuff in it but we'd gone through it many times on the phone and talked about what do you want copies of and i basically said i wanted copies of of everything but there were a few other things that didn't seem related at all that I'm not remembering that I didn't get copies of. And now I'm thinking, you know, again, it's time to revisit that. But that's how I got it was after um, Jack died, his wife called up Steve and, and basically said, you and Melinda, you know, Jean said, would you and Melinda like this? And, you know, but I was already living in Arizona. So Steve went through this stuff and there we go. And that's how I got it. And I've had it ever since. And so much of it related to my research about the history of the working group that that's why in my presentations i started to show a couple of the pages in my presentations but i have not released the entire thing till right now the last two days so that's the first okay. time i've released the entire thing well thank you for breaking your secrecy <laughs> yeah. well it wasn't really secrecy you know i just thought i just thought it was it was it, it it didn't seem that important to the overall subject the rest of it um quite frankly, well, and, and it was only related to my research and not that many people were, yeah. you know, closely following my research into the working group. But, but, but now, now because of it backing up Oak, it has a yeah. whole new meaning. And, yeah. and then I love Jimmy getting excited going through it. Jimmy Church last night. And I told him, I said, I, you know, I said, I, I'm glad, I'm glad you like my Jack notes, you know, because when we talked on the phone, because I was like, I, I was getting a kick out of the fact that he, because I've seen, but had him for so long that I've become kind of nonchalant about him. And suddenly, like, they take on this whole new depth of meeting and to see him reacting to them for the first time and, and getting it and getting the meeting was so, the meaning, you know, getting the yeah. meaning of what was in there was so rewarding for me. It's like, okay, you know, and, and, and it was like when I first saw them, how I reacted to them. So I realized, you know, maybe I should have, gone forward with them years ago so i apologize to everyone yeah, no, but, no. But, I was just but, now, but yeah but now but now now it was like it's timing you know it's like you okay. and, and you sat on yours so it was all about the timing so i'd like to see them let's see them all let's right go. that's my job now pulling okay. them up and melinda i will say you know i'm going on a few years now knowing you personally but you know beyond our personal yeah, yeah. You know, I had followed yeah, you yeah. for years and listened to you, you know, talking with Grant Thank you. Thank Lauren you. Fenton. And, you know, as soon as I asked you to share some of your work with me, you open armed, you know, and took me under your wing and did that. Well, I know. Keith well, Nicole, you know, you're, you're exceptionally bright. You you are knowledge about the, these things. I've enjoyed having the conversations because it was like, hey, you know, this is someone who gets it. This is someone who understands, you know, and there are other people over the years that have reached out to me that I have, I have shared stuff with, um, 
Who was Keith? Keith, he did an excellent write up and article. Yeah, Keith Basterfield. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. His, no, no, a number of people over the years have, so I can't say, you know, I, I just make a general statement. There are people like yourself and others who have uh, shown interest. And you guys, I have a whole presentation on the working group. If you haven't seen it, please see it. It'll go into much more detail. All right, there we are, page one. And, and all the groups and organizations they did all along, the, the timeline that I have to give so much credit to Randy Copang for taking notes, every phone call, everything we shared, every email, he was taking notes. And, and it was years into it before I even knew that Randy had this timeline of everything as it unfolded. And those notes, whoa, the, you know, you know. Okay, it, read yeah. your notes on these notes right okay. here. It's okay, like okay, okay. So this, I'll read this part. It says pages marked at, as JH are from the notes owned by Jack. Yeah. Orange added by Melinda Leslie for past use. Yeah, the orange All highlighting. The markings are original by JH. That's right. That's right. I scribbled that before I scan them real quick because I'm like, wait a second, I need to have something that makes that clear. So mm -hmm. all the markings, you know, if they're in blue pen like this, they're for me, but that that's that's pretty much it. And then the JH on each page. So if we have ever mixed the, them, we knew whose was whose. So um, but every page, other mark is, is, is Jack. So there you go. This front page is our agenda. It says yes. theoretical physics conference. Okay because this did take place over a few days, everyone. I don't know if everybody realizes that, you know. And then we have how many bullet points here? Seven? Yeah. So let's start with one and two and these little notes off to the side. Well, um, you know, and, and, and Jimmy did such a good job with this last night, but a lot of people yeah. will say, well, we didn't hear Jimmy. So, so we're kind of reinventing the wheel here, but that's all right. That's because that's what we're here to do today. We've put this aside. We're, we're willing to go like four hours in length if, if necessary today to cover all this. And, uh, and people, you know, if you can't watch all of it now, you, it'll be up and saved for posterity and you can go back and catch the missing parts whenever you need That's to. That's part of the network. That's part yeah. of the network. Okay. The network. So in the agenda, they have, um, and, and Grant, you know, this is the one page that Grant and I both have, you know, so this OCAD, this exact page, and we'll get to that because after we go through my set, right, Grant, we're going to go back, even though you've kind of covered it, we're going to go back and do the Oak set as well. Like we're doing it all together. Right. Yeah, that's okay. our, that's yeah. our goal here today. OK. And you can tell today you can, everyone listening was not like really well planned out. You know, it was like this all this has all happened so fast. And I did not know that Jimmy was going to go by it page by page last night, which I'm glad. Um, but because that was what we he's going to be do doing today. A deep dive tonight, too, so we can leave. Yeah. So in the introduction, yeah, yeah everyone, yeah, he, he, well, not about this though. He's going to go back and do like a recap for those that aren't familiar of Wilson Davis. So if people are needing a recap about Wilson Davis and everything about it. That's what Jimmy's going to do himself tonight. And then my understanding has uh, tomorrow night. I think he's got uh, Dolan on to talk about Wilson Davis. <coughs> okay, going to this, but this is. Grant and Melinda Leslie's contribute contribution to this whole story. Okay, so introduction um, in the meeting. So they have the agenda, objectives, purpose that they were going to cover, and so this is how it. The rest of the notes fall under this. So this is, you know, this explains the order of the rest of the notes. Uh, the purpose um, they're going to introduce the end attendees and describe the bona fides, you know, their backgrounds. Okay. Uh, which like we just did, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> no, I hope I don't keep coughing. Sorry about that. Objectives. Um, explore the evidence presented available to determine if further study is warranted. If evidence from part two is sufficient, uh, is there sufficient evidence to support an R&D research and development program? Okay, so they're going to cover the R&D, and of course, you guys, they're talking about UFOs <laughs> on reverse engineering, just to make it clear, whatever they mention that, that's what they're talking about here. Um, it, that'll be cl clearer as we go, but just, you know, know that that's what they're talking about. If evidence from 2B is sufficient, why, uh, what should the thrust be, thr thrust, yeah, be, and then he says, and it's dash goal, the word goal written there. 
and D, develop an action plan and assume sufficient evidence to proceed. So assuming there's evidence to proceed with taking action. So that's what these folks are going to do. And Grant, you know, I think real quick as a segue, before we go more into this, we should talk about who was at this meeting for those who are less familiar with it. Do you, do you uh, want to give your list that you have of who was there? I haven't got the list. Well, hang on. Let me look for the list here. Um, we um, have the, the usual. Send, I sent it to you last night, Grant, while you were on with Jimmy, or at least Melinda's chart that has, you know, all I've, the. I've got the sheets here. So. Perfect. And yeah. I have I have here from uh, John Alexander's book some uh, a list and then um and then okay. a few names written down so i i can go over it too but i just was wondering uh okay. if you had the, the the list that you got the handwritten list that you have from oak shannon's notes okay oak shannon was there from uh los alamos uh-huh bill wilkinson was from cia uh-huh hal mcconnell was from nsa and just to point out uh, this story first leaked to the New York Times uh, to Howard Bloom. He wrote a book called Out There, and he was talking about this group, and um, he changed all the names and stuff, but he claimed it was an NSA guy that was leaking it to him. So Hal McConnell was from NSA. There's John Alexander, you mentioned already, he was from Los Alamos. And, and when you're mentioning that about Bloom's book, we should also say, after he talked to you, English researcher Timothy Good wrote about it in one of his books, too. So he published a list in one of his books. But I believe, Grant, that was after he had discussions with you about it. That you Yeah, he saw my in. list. I, I showed the list at um, Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and he was in the in the in the audience and he came and asked me for the list. So I well, he ended up writing a book about it, too. So yeah. it's in there. As and he well went as to it, Hal Putoff, who was at the meeting, and he then Hal Putoff contacted me and he said, you've got a list of a group that I was supposed yeah, to be yeah. part of. I heard you and say And I sent him the yeah. list and that was the last I heard of it. Yeah. So Bert Stubblebein, who was uh, the famous uh, general who was into spoon bending and trying to walk through a wall. and Oh, uh, Al yeah. Ge general Albert Stubblebein. Yeah. 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 And Hal Putoff was there, of course. Jack Houck, whose notes we're looking at right now. Uh, Ed Speakman was from Inscom. Uh, Bill Souter from McDonnell Douglas. And then there's an unidentified person from BDM. They, 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 it's from BDM, but they don't have the name. Jack Stewart from USDRE, which we really didn't know what it was. Uh, Ralph Freeman, and the, there's a big question mark as to where he was from. You mentioned already Bob Wood from McDonnell Douglas. Uh, your friend Ron Blackburn from Lockheed uh, yeah. Martin. Lockheed. Uh -huh. Yeah, and Milt Jansen. I don't know if you knew him. And Don Kimball from uh, Lockheed. So there's three people yeah. from Lockheed, two from McDonald. Uh, a couple, and then there's on the front page, when we show the front page, there's um, John uh, K, K, K I N K, John, he's from Los Alamos, and Samuel Finch from Los Angeles. Samuel Finch, Los yeah, Alamos. yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, many of these names were published by John Alexander when he eventually uh, wrote about this years later, but that's, because it was out there, I think he was, wrote about it to kind of deflect attention to say, look, it's no big deal. Yeah. Um, and, and deflect obvious, obviously. Yeah. obviously. Yeah. And then you mentioned Ed Dames, there was about 20 yeah. or 21 people that yeah. were now, involved and now, they all had top secret SCI clearances. According to John Alexander, they all paid their own way to there. It wasn't a um, government uh, program. Well, uh, although you'll, <laughs> you'll see in the, in the, in the, what I call the cover page, you'll see it was uh, the, it was in a skiff, but it was Department of Energy. So it was Los Alamos' Department of Energy, and that is the one that's sort of broken off from the president. It's controlled by Congress from the, um, you know, all the nuclear stuff. Yes, yeah, yes. A um, couple other names that I have that I um, have reason to believe were there or have came up in the research, both names that Ed Dames originally said to me, names that whether Bob or Jack had said them to me, you know, so there's others that m may have been there. Um, uh, well, first off in John's book, there's, uh, for instance, uh, the name of, um, I think Jake Stewart, who was, Jake Stewart was under, under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering at the time was there. And um, uh, I think you said Milt Johnson, Gary Bright, Paul Tyler, and Colonel Mike Neary, 
Is that one of the names you had? I'm not sure. Colonel no, Mike no. Neary and Ed Dames. Um, now, some of the names I'm about to give were maybe not at the original meeting, but co closely associated with these people and may have become involved later and or were at the meeting, like Dan Smith, okay, um, Albert Stubblebine, like you just said, a General yeah. Stubblebine, uh, Jack Verona, D-O-D-A-D-I-A, -D -D Ed Speakman, I think you mentioned them, Ralph Freeman, you mentioned him, Gordon Navell was involved, uh, Richard Doty, um, Ron, Pond Ron Pandolfi, uh, Don Kimball or Keeble, we're not sure, with Lockheed, Kit, Gr Kit Green, Jacques Vallée, and Scott Jones. So there you go. And, and others. So I have a full list in my, uh, but I just, but those are all people that may have been involved with the meeting or, or immediately involved afterwards. So there you go. That is the list of everybody that everybody else needs to start bugging. Like Melinda can bug and bug and bug everybody until John Alexander okay. gives us the goods. Well, <laughs> That's okay, but, but and persistence. <laughs> okay, but you you can uh, uh, maybe you you're in contact with Richard Doty. Maybe did Richard Doty say he was there? I can't see Richard Doty was there because Richard Doty was still operational. In uh... well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, shortly thereafter. You know, because okay. you get into the whole aviary period. Oh, yeah, the aviary for sure. I mean, they were which, all. Which they were involved in. You know, all, all these guys there. Yeah, yeah, this you probably still have email lists where but, they're all But like, stuff. you know, but Ed I actually mentioned. They all for instance, need a secret handshake is how to Ed, put it. You know, <laughs> Ed, Ed mentioned some of those names when he first told me. Yeah. Of, of those people being involved. Like Jacques I, Vallée. And I, I think that Ed made it sound like Jacques Vallée was at the meeting. I love any excuse to reach out to Rick, Rick Doty. So I'll reach out to him and see what he has to say. Well, that's, yeah. con you know, that's controversial, right? I don't <laughs> a lot care. Of people I listening don't. right now, their hair's, their hair's curling when you say that. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, when let's somebody keep going. dares me not okay. to do something, now, I want to do it. So, okay. So ready, going, back, <laughs> going back to, yes, yes. Going back to the agenda page. Um, now over here, written to the left by, by Jack, it says existing programs question mark so they're they're talking at this meeting or at least jack makes a point to write that to like let's make sure we get into that which they do we'll go we'll, that will eventually get there but they go into are there existing programs in other words governmental programs already doing this and you guys everybody keep in mind everyone will go so much this we already know you guys this was an 85 this agenda was for a meeting everything talked about was back in 85 these guys were doing these things and talking about these things in 1985. So there's Jack going, existing programs, question mark. Okay, there you go. So they that's, wanted to know. That's me. I got to scroll down. Oh, yeah. You tr yeah, down. yeah, I'm trying to scroll and I'm not able to. That's so going me. back to, so purpose, wait, go back a little. So we had purpose. Got purpose. it. Okay, there we go. So um, purpose to explore evidence of facts, determine quality of the known evidence. And you guys are talking about UFOs. So everybody keep in mind, this is 85. They're talking about UFOs. Okay. Determine methods to collect more information, to fill gaps in information. In other words, a collection plan, like it says there in parentheses. And then it says presentations, evidence, selected cases. Uh, so they're going to they're going to talk about the evidence, selected cases about evidence, identification of quality evidence, gaps in evidence, potential collection means, potential collection requirements and platforms to be tasked, and then identification of other significant cases. Okay, then five analysis of evidence to meet stated purposes, as stated in under purposes in paragraph three. Okay, conclusions. Then they'll cover that truth versus fiction. Okay, we're always we're always doing that, aren't we, guys? You know, what's the truth? What's the fiction? Where's the reality like? Okay, we're doing that with the UFO subject all the time. Well, so were they. Okay, B. If true, friendly, and is you know, and then in in the middle. So is it friendly, internal, external, known or unknown? Enemy, internal, external, known or unknown? Or technologies supported? So. So if true, you know, is it, are ETs friendly? Are they enemy? And are there technologies to be learned there? Okay, that's clearly what that means. C, study programs required to clarify, correlate, 
corroborate into meaningful data array. In other words, you know, so can we create a data array? Do we know more by the, the, the correlation and corroboration between these? Okay. And then D, which I had highlighted for some past presentation, R&D programs needed, you know, to do reverse engineering, to do research and development from the information that they gather. Okay. Recommendations. And you guys, I think it's important. It, we just went through the list, but it's important for people to realize we're talking, you know, there's at least three or four people representing Los Alamos National Laboratory. There's three or four pr people re representing McDonnell Douglas, which later, of course, became Boeing. And, and when Jack retired, he was actually retired from Boeing because McDonnell Douglas had bought it and, and, you know, kept Jack in a position. Same with uh, Bob Wood. Um, so McDonnell Douglas, uh, there's at least three people from Lockheed, you know, at least three from Lockheed. Um, there's people from the DIA, uh, the DOD, uh, INSCOM, Army Intelligence, uh, people representing the CIA. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so I want everyone to realize that's this group of people are tied, and that was their current positions. You know, they're, yeah, they, you can say, oh, they're retired, blah, blah, blah. Now, not then. <laughs> these people were currently doing these jobs back then. Okay. So, I, do and, want, I do want to maybe comment on something here because when you scroll up, um, no, sorry, scroll down, scroll down, Sackage. You know, all of this we see at play here. Even down to like this one, R&D programs needed. So in 1985, they were saying they needed more or needed any at all. Good <laughs> you question. Know, I, mean, I want to question that. And then yeah. Grant, I know bullet point B in these conclusions when I look and read it, for some reason, Rumsfeld, the whole speech comes to mind where he's talking about the known knowns the known unknowns, the unknown yeah. knowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that, that was this time period. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, okay. That those were my comments on that. Yeah. And these guys are here. They're not, you know, you, uh, you there was always this thought by Randy and I, well, they were kind of independent. They were having an interest in this, but uh, reviewing it now makes it clearer to me. Um, which which w was kind of like what I originally thought with it. And if anything, I'm kind of coming full circle to think this again, which is, you know, these folks were here representing these aerospace companies, these research companies, these laboratories and intelligence communities to get information and take it back, you know, to what they were doing. They weren't being rogue, doing it outside of. That's why this happened at, at, at BDM Corporation, excuse me. <laughs> I want in a secure skiff, skiff, you know, file room, a, a skiff, you know, and so they were doing a fi file room, and someone sent me something today that's worth uh, noting, which is the guy who was vice president of BDM at the time. It looks like was one of the people there. Oh, I may not be able to bring it up quick enough, but it was very interesting thing someone sent me today that they did this research. Oh, I got to bring it up. Let me see if I find it really quick. If I don't, I'll, I'll give up. I, on it, I'll but. add right now in the conclusions with point or bullet point C here, you know, this meaningful data array. We yes. still hear that now. They're saying that right now that we need to combine all this stuff, get a, you know, a centralized blah, blah, blah. So really, They've been they've been saying that for 30 plus years. Well, I will say this about these guys. That doesn't make sense, though, when we know that like Valet has contributed. But what what if he started Capella and I mean, all of that. So I what mean, if this what if this meeting, Nicole, was kicking off? OK, we're going to look into this stuff, but they still remain as clueless today as they were then. In other words, maybe. I agree, but I yeah. still think, you know, if if this was put in place and even if it this group didn't follow through, we know that there is the database and all of this. And even what Christopher Mellon says right now about, we know we have the satellite stuff and just nobody knows to look at it. Yes. So I call a little bit of baloney on them making that such a point right now, these days. It's like, you know, they're regurgitating a lie. 
because they well, and, and we know this is the, the importance of Wilson Davis I know. is Admiral Wilson, you know, going and, and going to his buddies with the SAPs, you know, and 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 finding out who to go talk to goes to what we what we all, all of these figure out is probably Lockheed. You know, kind of like a little <laughs> time travel device. You know, yeah. let's go back to 1985 and let's compare it right now to. Yeah, well, that's this shows that they've been asking these same questions since 85. Maybe like like Wilson getting his hand slapped to say you don't have clarity, you know, you're, you don't you can't know. Maybe that happened to some of these guys or they took it into their because, as I just said, they represented Lockheed. They represented uh, Boeing. They represented, you know, um, <coughs> Uh, Los Alamos labs and et cetera. So maybe they took it back to those companies that then were working on it and, and it never got put out there because it all became classified. Yeah, yeah. So I think these guys in 85 were back channeling information to those companies. Come on, that's, that's not a far reach. Obviously their being there in this secure meeting, you know, was to gather information and share it back and was their plan ever to go public and tell everyone? No, the working group through its various incarnations of advanced theoretical physics working group, ATP, uh, to the, the aviary period, to the Bigelow period, to the NIDS period, the NIDS switching and turning into Bass, and then Bass getting picked up by the Pentagon, Pentagon renaming it OSAP, and then OSAP and then ATIP and to the stars, until now, until the last five years, did these guys ever come public with anything that they had ever? Hey, does Steve? And in fact, they were known in the whole Bigelow period, starting with the aviary, going all the way through Bass and OSAP. It was known by UFO research organizations. There's a long trail of this in abduction research, where where information would go in to you know, to the anyone associated with the Bigelow Bass, NIDS, blah, 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 no information came out. And they paid for, they paid for MUFON studies, they paid for abduction research studies, all these things, I, I have it all, I have it all broken down in my timeline and in my history of the working group, and yet nothing came out. These guys were not about being public, they were not about sharing information. And my guess is all along, information was channeled back to the reverse engineering reality programs going on at these major companies. And I don't think that's a far reach to suggest that. Okay. Okay. Let's Is that why so many people were so hot to trot with Inman? You know, yeah. Retired? Is, yeah. Is that just the tie-in of how- Well, yeah, it, it was a link to there being, why they wanted you know, it. reverse engineering programs and, 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 and people were following through on leaks of stuff that he and people associated with him had said. I do want to throw in a quick uh, question from YouTube. I am writing down everyone's because they're really good. But oh, good. Well, you leader, guys save them. Well, well, we want to address some more later. So that's something where uh, good we, Nicole, uh, write them down. But tell everyone I, I think we should wait because we're going to get too bogged well, down let's, with let's questions. Let's do this one now. I think there's one she wants to do. They, they just want to know how Steve Justice could tie into this right now, or maybe when he was introduced in this with like a lock. What if what is going on now? What's gone on all along has been a continuation kicked off by what these guys did back in 85. That's so, that's kind of been my running theory. Well, I'll pull that thread a little bit in the vein of skepticism and say there might be a group like this meeting unofficially and you know well hey gary nolan keeps saying in all his interviews or at least a good number of them he has said repeatedly eric Dace, davis and i have been friends for a long time we go way back we're both part of a group we've been in a group together for years you guys this is the group he's talking about yeah, but they're called different. Let, let one, one of the questions. Well, they should... changed names as they needed to, both for deflection and because their focus at the time became something different. And depending on who was flipping the bills, was Bigelow paying for it? Was the Pentagon paying for it? Depending on who was paying for it, their name changed. It's like when Grant changed from presidential UFO to White House UFO. He was trying to throw people off. There you go. <laughs> did, did anybody phone the BDM? And, and were, you getting, were you getting funding for either of those? Maybe you changed the name, Grant, because you were getting funding. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm did, kidding. Did, yeah, did, in your did, dreams, did, right? 
Did did Melinda? Did you phone the BDM vault there at seven zero three eight two one and ask them? <laughs> no, you have I UFO, haven't. Is, you have a UFO there? <laughs> no, I haven't. You can phone them okay. live on the air. Hello, we're okay, doing let's, the show let's here. Scroll, and we scroll get your down. Phone number. Scroll down here. Here, let's scroll down. Uh, okay, scrolling. Okay. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Go, go back uh -oh. a little bit. Go back oh, a little God. bit. Just we go back. We need the top of the page. Okay. So that JH is my writing because all the pages say that on it. So that's done. Okay. So this, everything else on here, except for the orange highlight, that's me. Everything else on here is Jack's own writing. So he wrote the date of the meeting, 52185, Advanced Physics, and the BDM vault number. I guess if they got locked out or something, maybe they had to, if they had to go use the restroom, maybe they had to call in or I don't, you know, to get back in. I don't know. But BDM vault, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, I'm calling it right now. And then it says, uh, clear, it says clearances, no, no to group, uh, open-minded there. Okay, that's what it says. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're time, he's talking about, you know, obviously they're covering their clearances. Um, they all clearances, uh, the no to group, maybe he means need to know. That's, I don't think that's a far reach to suggest that. And, and that they, you know, had a goal of being open-minded. Okay, and that's why they're all there. And the objective. Melinda, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. It's actually ringing. Okay. <laughs> this is That's good. funny. <laughs> you have to. There's three numbers there. I know. Uh oh. I never called. That's very funny. <laughs> this is like live TV here. I've had these notes since well, since Jack's death in 2013. They're not answering on purpose, but it does say McLean, Virginia. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a trip if they answered okay. and said, I'm and hanging said, up. <laughs> be a trip go. if they answered and said, hello, Nicole, we're listening. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I'd walk out on my front porch and wave at the satellite. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. I, I do that from time to time. Okay. Objective. <laughs> <laughs> that's good I, I, Nicole. I, no actually i wait at the black helicopter to the group open-minded and then i love it it's objective does the yeah. evidence support an r d project yeah that, like, that's Earth, like you could tell yeah. like you, well yeah. see jack's here representing he's in charge of advanced systems analysis that was his title advanced systems analysis for mcdonald douglas and if he's doing black ops for mcdonald douglas He's there for Mr. McDonald going, okay, you know, does the evidence support an R&D project, you know? And then to the right, it says Ron Blackburn and Don Kimball from Lockheed. So obviously they were talking about that. And I'll fully disclose here, I ended up becoming very good friends uh, years later with Ron Blackburn. I have not talked to him now in about three or four years, but there was about a five year period where I was very, very good friends with Ron Blackburn. Um, you have his phone number? Maybe we could phone him. <laughs> we can yeah. phone him on well, the Well, I've been meaning, you guys, Ron? no joke. Since all this has come up, it, it behooves me to call Ron Blackburn follow. and say, say, do you want to make any comments about this meeting? We've gone public with the notes, and you have Oaks, and I have these. And, yeah. and at, you know, and say, we've been very public. We've published the notes. What's your comment? And get comments from Ron Blackburn. And maybe he'll, maybe, you know, Ron's been pretty nice to me maybe he'll go oh you want my notes <laughs> you know? yeah exactly maybe he'll yeah. Get me his notes. do you remember when you joined our panel and you were talking with mr semi van on the phone during yeah. our yes well there yes. you go we, <laughs> yes, we called yeah. jim semi van and asked him if they were discussing our notes here now uh, I, I i i i think the answer is yes <laughs> I haven't asked, but I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> These guys four hours to get but, through, um, between to Oak, hours. between Oak, Oak going, and now everything over the last couple of days. You could, you could ask him up from one to 10. How close are we? Because Gary, <laughs> uh, you know, Gary's very uh, active on Twitter and friends with me on Twitter. I bet he's seeing everything. Yeah. I think yeah. Well, yeah, but, but we need to know how close we are from one to 10. How close are we? Warm or cold, getting hot. Well, we have, well, I think it speaks for itself. We have the notes. The notes speak for themselves. Yeah. Okay. On, and on that, we should move on. I don't know. Everyone's yelling at their computers by now. Go back a little. You you went too fast. I can fix Nicole's it. Nicole's trigger happy over here. Go back a little. Okay. Okay. So so theories. Theories. Uh, it says reports. And then it says from the various parts, all are false, all are true. And it says, what does that say? Into that origin I think, I don't know what uh, Jack meant by that. Ours. What do you guys think? They're talking about the theories, they're talking about the various reports being shared. Are they all false, all true, and the origin? So they're trying to decide that. Um, 
and then it says uh yeah, new, i look at the origin none. oh it says none it then it says others yeah. as in yeah. et or terrestrial so oh, yeah that's probably all yeah and the origin of it yeah that's true yeah okay so there you go and then it says that that's a good point nicole you might be very right so then it says none ours there's others and it says t and et so that's terrestrial and extraterrestrial obviously so yeah. others is a terrestrial others which see now you guys that's being talked about this very in vogue right now ultra terrestrials everything when he said others he's saying terrestrial or extraterrestrial i think he's talking about others based here you know terrestrial others based here well, or extraterrestrial We've heard the invisibles. We've heard the others. Yeah. We've heard the watchers. We've because heard... he already says none ours theirs ours theirs others. But I think you, know, you still got to. But you still got to keep in mind that a lot of these terms you're throwing out in the call didn't appear in 1985. This is no. like when you're still talking about the Drake theory and they're coming right. in spacecrafts and taking thousands of years to get here. All this interdimensional stuff and all these other things were way after that. They would nobody yeah. was talking about that. Yeah, that yeah, time. yeah. No, right. but to say terrestrial other or extraterrestrial oh, others I, I, is I, very I kind of interesting vein of their each own like nicknames that they might have for the phenomenon you know what i mean just like i know valet calls them the invisibles and well, he has forever you know but nobody cares what valet calls them yeah yeah calls them. well i just think to say none ours there's others and others breaks down to terrestrial extraterrestrial is very interesting now for years i thought terrestrial he meant like anything that's built by us or something but then i'm looking at this going well no they yeah, these guys would already know that so other now i'm going they jack? mean other, and and, and yeah. again we're second guessing jack but i but also from my knowledge of jack and and conversations with him where he thinks like valet and stuff so i'm thinking okay yeah. this may mean others based here and not based here and or I, it could be the russians the russians are are other uh, terrestrial yeah, that's true because oh, yeah, there's more russians there's more of the when we get into the outline it does get into uh, comments about the russians so there the canadians go. may have a secret program that runs the world you never know maybe Those australians that have <laughs> maybe. the black triangles <laughs> maybe maybe okay okay, okay. <laughs> i'm laughing i'm saying maybe. okay <laughs> reports so reports uh so it says no evidence. So it says no. It says evidence. It says intelligence. Intelligence and N E and N E I a or C, C N E. -E. -E. But I think that's supposed to be a parenthesis. So I maybe N E I in parenthesis. So -E -E. Um, -E -E. I don't yeah. know what N E I no, means. No evidence. Whatever intel. Whatever that. Oh, oh and N E I. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, no evidence. Intelligence. There we go. Yeah. So that's N E I. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. He's gi he's giving the, that an acronym. Okay. You're right. Okay. Like reports. I'm deciphering hieroglyphics. Or yeah, no yeah. 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 No. 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 It's it's N E I for no evidence. Intelligence. Okay. And thank you. That's duh. I part of me is like, why didn't I see it that way? Okay. You got Rendlesham glyphs built in. See, Nicole. See, that's why you're here. You're you're, we need your brain power, you know. Maybe we should get your kid on here. He'd know, probably know what everything is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Report, reports. Okay. Probable, probable evi then evidence and intelligence. So that's PEI. So you have no evidence. Okay. No evidence or intelligence. Do the report show no evidence or intelligence, or do the report show probable evidence and intelligence? So that's why you have any IP. No now, evidence of intelligence now, on UFO Twitter. <laughs> now, 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 you're gonna piss everybody off. Okay, move on. Okay, kick, okay, we can scroll. So more Jack Count notes. Any. Okay, now, you, is there a way to turn these sideways? Yeah. You can, uh, you can. Yep. Maybe this. Yeah. This one right the flipper. Here. Put the flipper. Here you go. Uh, okay. So I would say leave it like that because maybe the next ones are gonna be like. Look this. at me go. So you guys, now these are. Hang on. Now. This this outline it said at the top. Go back. So it's out. Okay, this outline. These are you guys. You know this was an eighty five. Ain't no PowerPoint. These are good nope. old fashioned overhead transparencies. These are copies of the transparencies. History. Okay. Goals. So so this is the outline. They're going to cover history, goals, potential projects, schedule and plans, costs, costs of what they're going to do, and security and their and then their action items. Bingo. Okay. Next. Next, Let's go to the money page. <laughs> okay. Oh, now, here's our history. History lesson. Okay. 
UFO so, you, so UFO history. Now, fortunately, he wrote in pencil, and it's not looking that clear on here. So you have, um, so we'll go with the list, and then we'll go through his notes. So it says biblical San Francisco flap of 1897, uh, 47 Kenneth Arnold, Air Force investigations initiated, uh, 10,000 reports, 600 unexplained as of, so these guys had data that this existed. You know, they're, they're not go, they're not talking about move on here, guys. They're talking about what they know from that's their intelligence book. sources. Yeah, that's Blue, that's Blue, Blue Book. book. Yeah, yeah, Blue book. exactly. Not at the 701 yet. So 10,000 reports, 600 unexplained as of 65. The Condon investigation, yes, yeah, so they're the Blue, Blue Book, okay. The Condon investigation and, and the congressional hearing that had already taken place back then. Okay. And and the congressional hearing, do you realize that the congressional hearing took place on the same day as the Australian UFO in the schoolyard? What? Uh, okay, keep the, going. That's, that's just very a little, cool. That's just that's, uh, I didn't, I didn't in, in case you get on Jeopardy. Saying. UFO yeah. Jeopardy. <laughs> you get to answer that question. UFO Jeopardy, I'll know. Okay. Hosted by Jonathan Davies. Okay. <laughs> now I am going to I want to look at this. Because yeah, this says check, like check the biblical. And then San Francisco flap, it says dirigibles. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. hang on. I'm going here. Um, so after yeah. Condon investigation, if you scroll up a little, it says current sighting rate of 10 to 100 a week under Condon investigation. So if you scroll up a little. Oh, scroll okay. Down. I wanted to start yeah. with these because like. Okay. Um, so yeah, the notes. So um, to the left. I can't see what wrote. This now it's hard to read there, but, but I have. I have a, a first generation copy set, you yeah. know, from from his notes, and then and then Steve Paul Joyce made copies when he sent them to me. So this is what Steve sent me, so I can I can read the writing. So it, so so it actually says how many right there, and then below how many it says sign grudge sign slash grudge. So yep. project sign yeah. project grudge, blue book. So it says blue that book. there, and then over it says UFO literature. So from UFO literature, that's what it's saying there. So and sign grudge I blue book UFO literature. Off of the reports of blue book, it says plus France 1954 and Valet. So they're already like incorporating yeah, what that, they might know. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that exactly. And then, yeah, and then just again on the left, uh, hang on. There's something outside hang the on, United on, States of America. Yeah. Okay. And on the left, it says examples of toss outs toss t-o-s-s -S, hyphen outs that's what it says there that you can't read under the circle yeah. okay Ex example of toss outs and then to the right it says so it says biblical and it says check like someone's going to check on it i guess so up, again if you go back up to the right biblical and maybe version you can. okay so, and un it's under check next to san francisco it says dirigible okay hang on says next to san francisco it says dirigibles so hang on go back up so you see san francisco and to the right of that it says dirigibles you're going to, have to be doing this a lot if you need to reduce the size so we get it on oh, the screen then you don't Dirigible. have to move stuff around maybe we should do that nicole no move back to the minus button okay okay a dirigibles so next to the word dirigibles now it's behind our pictures on my screen but it actually says um it says you know quotation slow to recognize, I guess, slow to recognize the reality of the outside world, quotation mark. So I'm not sure what that's from. Flying saucers, so maybe that's, Grant, do you know anything about the 1897 dirigible flap? Well, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just questioning what are these dirigibles? Are they? Um, so, so maybe, the maybe, so maybe ones. Was that, was the, air, that was the quoting. airship. That was yeah, the 10,000 airship thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know who Jack's quoting to say slow, slow uh, to recognize the reality of the outside world, unquote. So I don't know who he's quoting there. And then and then it says flying saucers in parentheses. It says when and where. So that's kind of hard. OK. And then, uh, like you said, it says next to the 10,000 reports, it says France 1954 and valet. OK. And then under that, it says Sturrock. Uh, so st what Sturrock? Army Airfield, are we talking about con investigator Sturrock? No, Stur Dr. Sturrock. Oh, Dr. Sturrock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you guys, you know, this, I'm, this is, yeah. I, my knowledge is good, but sometimes I got to be reminded and there's probably things I'll know that remind grants. So there we go. Personal, say get personal and, and 
it says Sagan. Okay. So you're talking about Sagan. Yeah. And then next to that says arrogance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that, that would describe yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sturrock says personal Sagan and also says Sturrock and then says Aragon. So there's, I think was there's Carl a stream of thought. Of the go, there's a stream of thought there going on in Jack's head, anyway. Yeah. Okay, under that it says J. E. McDonald, James, e., James Edward McDonald. We know that who that is. Okay, and then under that it says it said 1966 crossed out, so someone corrected or something. 1969 view foil. He's saying, and it says single, single that since then. Oh, duh. Okay, then at, at, under that says since then, since then. Okay, now next page. Did, did we don't Carl need to spend Sagan this have... long on this because I hope everyone listening knows yeah. a lot of this history. Obviously, the point was these guys were reviewing these historical cases as part of this meeting. Yeah, let me know. ask the chat room or you guys: Was Carl Sagan? affiliated with the Condon investigation at all or did he know the guys involved he, in yeah it? he was there was correspondence between him and the people at Condon I mean they, they were all the skeptics so Condon and wow. and Sagan were the two big skeptics and Phil Klaas and then there's the rumor that like Sagan was kind of bought out to shut his mouth so he could fund wow. Yeah, but that, that's that's sort of a rumor like uh Elizondo's running the program at uh space com <laughs> um, i i can tell i i okay <laughs> okay i can tell you i know that that's true but i my source which is a highly highly reliable source watch thomas fessler's interview we'll in, a, in a position to know um go. told me directly that yes lou has been hired by space force to run their uap yeah. division and, and I'm quoting this other gentleman. Don't yeah. bar anymore. We and, got and I and I trust you so much. I sh I forgot to make a bet with Jimmy Church last night. I could have made some money. Well, I explained mm -hmm. it to Jimmy, and I I did tell Jimmy the source oh, because but, I trust him not to. But go did he for believe it. you? Um. Yes, but he questioned. <laughs> we had a great talk about that. Lou's probably not fulfilling a military role as he is a civilian. But I said, but civilians can head up military divisions you know, from an administrative role. And so I, I think he was um, nitpicking, <laughs> yeah. you know, being nitpicky. Yeah. But I told him, I said, I will go back to my source and find out exactly because, yeah. you know, he was in the military and maybe he's been reinstated. You know, I, well, we I wouldn't rule it out. My source, me. my source did tell me, we, I didn't ask him that, we didn't get to that, but my source did tell me that for a fact that, um, that Lou has all his security stuff back completely yeah. and has even been given new security clearances. So he's fully, he's fully working for Space Force with full security and they had to go through the whole process to either yeah. reinstate and, and, or, re, or reinvent and, and or, the, or update all his security stuff. And the, the OSAP thing was run by a civilian. It wasn't run by a military guy. That's hey, right. That's right. I mean, I mean you get I that all the time. I mean, military guys that when they retire, they still go into the reserves. Was he did he roll himself into the reserves? And maybe. Well, that's no, that's no, what no. I told Jim. That's what I told Jimmy Church. I was going to find out because he, no, he was kind of nitpicking that. And I said, well, I'll I'll try to find out if he's no, you, you don't need to, in it. You don't need to be a, a thing. I mean, that's like, you know, if you saw the old get smart thing, I mean, Lou Elizondo selling greeting cards for yeah, space. I mean, a lot of these military <laughs> guys still do like to contribute to their reserves and their state. And where they Grant, I, do, I think he's doing more than selling green cards. <laughs> yeah, but that's, but if you watch Get Smart, it's like, you know, he's, well, what do you do for a living? Oh, I sell greeting cards. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> No, <laughs> civilians, for sure. Civilians are in all sorts See, of military laugh. positions. Grant, I mean, stop, you... make, Grant, stop making me laugh. It makes me cough. <laughs> like, okay. that, that's a good me... that's a good point. Now we've, we've made a sort of a thing that people look, have something to talk about now on the Internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I think you're right. I think you told me I think your source is pretty reliable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I you and Nicole, uh, people know that my source said a few a handful of people independently can know. But but um my source and, and doesn't, doesn't want Lou really well pissed off at him. Well yeah, and, and, and the, 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 the question I put to Jimmy is, is why, why are we keeping this secret? Like, what's the big deal? Like, come on. This is like, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just like putting secrets on top of secrets. And then you got to guess. They make you guess. Well, like they won't he, tell yeah. you, but then they get angry because you guess at the, what the answer is. Like, what point, you, what choice have you got? 
<laughs> yeah, because it erodes the fact that there's secrecy. So that's that kind of does away. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, let's move on. Everyone's going to yell at their computer at us. Okay, yeah, they're, they're all yelling at us. Okay, so <laughs> record it. Thumbs I'm, up. Tell us how much you love this banter. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Thumbs down. Oh, yeah, we can just flip through this one because this is just sightings that the, the yeah. classic sightings. So, that and people then we know go, about. what what is notes? Because everyone can read to the left. Just scroll up a little yeah. so we can see it all on the screen at one time. What I do can. want it. Maybe Grant. Okay, 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 there we go. So, so that's, that's, every, no, 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 not that far. I'm going to read through the stuff on the right. Okay, just real quick, just because people can't read what's written there. So it says, it said, so, so next to each one, so look at each one, and then each thing to the right goes with it. It says humanoid slash white suit. It says, I think that's what that says. Yeah. Yeah, humanoid slash white suit. That says swamp gas, there. and that says swamp gas. Then it says, Radar visual, then it says recorded death. Yeah. So the mantel, yeah, recorded death. And then it says flying in formation next to Lubbock Lights. And then it yep. says CE3. So it's saying it's a close encounter of the third kind for yep. the Gill event, whatever that was. Um, and then the next one says Fort, comma, a CE2 close encounter second time and power failure. And then Is that a typo. Is that Ixapital, Mexico? Like, I can never pronounce that right. But it might be. May, I don't know. I, I, you know as much as I do, maybe. And then the next one says, and, and Gran, if you know anything about these events, you can clarify. Uh, then it says, close encounter of the third kind again next to, and then damage. And then, so the damage, they're looking close, you know, the rating of the close encounter and you know that the fact there was a poly failure the fact that there was damage okay yeah. and then of course villa boas he says close encounters of the third kind plus abduction and rape okay which anyone who knows about that story knows that that's the case there okay all right next hey, you know these ones in the 50s like gill down if they are kind of south american related cases would nope. that tie into the same time that Walt Disney was down there doing like his Walt Disney ambassadorship or was no. that before this? No, they're, as I explained last night, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to grab stuff that isn't blue book. This is just swamp gas. This is lights in the sky. They're trying to grab the best cases. The guilt yes, case I yes, think, yeah. was the, was the one with the minister yes. where the, the beings were on top of the flying saucer and they were waving yeah, and all these people yeah, were on the yeah. ground waving back. And this thing was hovering these, there. These guys, now again, yeah. this is where I say, everyone put in, keep in mind, this is 1985, but these right. guys are representing these major government organizations and, and private aerospace and, you know, science companies in this, this meeting talking this, about what they think is the most credible best of the cases yeah they're That's, trying to stay away from the explained ones and try yeah. to get the unexplained ones okay next next sheet and and why all these matters we're going through this is the overheads because then when we go to grants notes it all makes sense because they're breaking all this down and uh and we'll do a quick review of grants notes then okay so um uh, meaning, meaning the Oak Shannon notes. Okay, that's what I mean, obviously. Okay, okay. classified history. Overhead correlations, comment, which is uh, com communications intelligence, right? Yeah. Yeah. Com com int yeah. from ship. So communications intelligence from ship, five base locations, correlation with unclassified literature, expectations and data consistent. Okay, I think that speaks for itself. Again, they're well, you know, they're they're talking about what's the classified history on this. Obviously, these people know something about that, right? Given yeah. their and, positions. And, and we'll get into the five bases. They guess at the five. There's this rumored case when I said it may have come from Ed Dames was the five bases where the aliens may have bases. Or from Ingo. Ingo's still in, very much alive and involved in this at the time. So it could could have yeah. come from Ingo. Yeah. So this how it says uh from ship but since we know ed was at the meeting maybe ed amazing? presents on it that's your point right grant because we know ed's at the meeting he's probably presenting yeah. on that okay yeah, yeah. What, what was your question the about? comment that says you know from ship five base locations could that be like navy intelligence and five navy bases no no uh, no because they mentioned they, the bases. these guys these guys are talking about et bases yeah they're mountains we we i described a couple yeah. of them last night one's yeah. in australia yeah. one's in spain 
Uh, that's I mean that was always my at this. And that's that that's they're... in that's in uh, Oak Shannon's notes. He actually yeah, so uh, that's writes okay. some of them down. See, that's why we're doing this first. So everyone yeah. realizes this is the outline that Oak Shannon's following in making his notes. Okay. Okay. So now why now? This the is L Dave Scott's favorite question to ask with disclosure is why now? So I love seeing this on the header of this. Yeah, these guys were talking about it in 85, you know, so or well, they're talking about why are we doing this now? Or why were they? It says the elephant cases. Well, I guess they mean like the elephant in the room or, you know, I'm not yeah. sure what they mean by that. That's that he doesn't know either. It's a big question mark. Yeah. Yeah. The elephant cases. And it says Condon study results sinking in uh, well that's me so we can ask this you know john Alex uh, yeah like john alexander's meeting going on here you know we, everyone needs to ask john alexander these things hello you know yeah. we need to Hi, have john. john alexander explaining this yeah i can call black broom and call john alexander and say explain all this okay okay so um no, Condon, with them call him <laughs> but, yeah melinda Hi. melinda was with him last year and she didn't ask him she didn't know. I saw the photo <laughs> of you with him. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So your time SCU, this year, I was at SCU uh, on my, my Facebook page. The header on my Facebook page is the group shot at SCU with with um, McGuire and me and John Alexander, uh, Eric Davis, and Gary Nolan. That's I love that picture. <laughs> yes. So you can see if you can get an interview with Eric Davis. Yeah. Eric. I got okay. a lot of blank wall space, Melinda. You can get that <laughs> picture. I'll hang it up right behind me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give you a giant poster size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, okay. that's, I saved that for Eric Davis's pajamas that I have. Have you guys seen that? He has no. a, somebody is selling Eric Davis pajamas. And they have his face all over these cute pajamas <laughs> and they're so cute. Like, I want Eric Davis pajamas. Don't make me laugh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. But but that's true. That's what I said to Oak when I wrote him. The first thing I said to him is, um, did you ever imagine as a little boy that one day your name would be attached to a document that would get read into Congress and would just describe the greatest discovery in the history of mankind? And I, I don't think he got do, the do, point, do. but but it's like yeah. Eric Davis. I mean, these people Ooh. are going to go down in history as being very oh, historic yeah. people. Oh, the yeah. That room is screaming at me that it was actually Pat. Pat Price that did the bases. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Who, 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 who screened that, Nicole? All of them through Jonathan Davies. Okay. Oh, Jonathan, tell them they win. Yes, John. Yes, Jonathan Davies. Thank bucks. you. They win 10 bucks. Yes, yeah. 10 grant bucks. 10 bucks. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Canadian bucks, which is yep. about five US bucks. Oh, God. It's Canadian <laughs> monopoly money. Thank you, Jonathan Davies. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, I know everyone in comments, you can add stuff. We will clarify if you say you're wrong about this or that, because you guys were Grant and I are going through these just like him and Jimmy did last night to kind of figure out what do all these things mean? You know, yeah. now I know what I've thought about because I've looked at my own stuff for so long and Grant has looked at the, you know, the other notes so long, you know, and I'm going to defer to him quite a bit come that section. I, and and a lot of people are going to pick this apart and pull up a bunch of stuff that none of us ever saw. That, yeah, there's, there's yeah. Like they'll say, oh, there. you don't realize they mean this right here. We'll yeah, go, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, there's yeah, going to yeah. be some smart people. Yeah, out okay. There. So, um, visible no, your college is on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so the next on, on this overhead projection slide, um, uh, no plan. So, uh, no plans exist. Uh, oh, well, let's go back. Uh, okay. Uh, Condon study results sinking in. Today's detectors show results. What's what's up with that? What that that makes me go, huh? What well, they may have detectors? had. Yeah, they may have same thing. They may have had satellites that were picking up then. Yeah. We, we think it's a new thing. And they're saying because some of these guys would have access to yeah. satellite intelligence. And you're saying yeah, we're in getting, 85, we're getting, we're in 85, these up. guys are going today's meaning in 85 yeah. detectors show results. I'm like, what the bleepity bleep do these guys know? You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, well, and the results sinking in, does that mean the results are sinking in in a bad way because they sucked? <laughs> or are the results sinking in as in like, they're actually looking at this seriously now? Good like question. It, well, I think what they were trying, again, what they were trying to do is they're trying to pull out the positive stuff from the Condon report because Condon report basically just 
poo-pooed the whole thing and said there's nothing to it. And yet, according to Staten, there was 22% un, 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 unexplained. And so they're yeah. sort of making the point that, yeah, they're, so that's that people are starting in, to realize uh, the Condon report amongst, was a big amongst scam. Their, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. and amongst, exactly. The grand well, I just that. keep thinking of Heineck being like, they didn't even look at the reports. You didn't yeah. even look at that. Like whatever yeah. it was. Well, like, the, yeah, but that, that, that 20% stuff um, and realizing that, you know, those results were sinking in amongst their compadres in these various companies and whatnot, you know, those results were sinking in. So that, that I think, I think Grant, you nailed that. I think you're right. I'll, I'll ooh, I think you're right. breaking news. Hold on. Breaking news. Tom Whitmore says, Lou is a contractor with the space force. I verified it directly with him. Okay. okay. I'll ask him, ask him, what's he doing? Selling greeting cards or running the UFO program for the space force? Because there, there is I threats from out up. there. That's the whole point. The part of the, the space force is to protect us from threats from Russia, China, I say, and out there. I say, according to my source, which is one step away from Lou, says says to me that he is running the running the UFO part, the UAP part. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a message that Jimmy Church is gonna see here. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, let J let Jimmy know. I'll let Jimmy know. We'll see what he well, says. Well, Jimmy will say a hi. I'm right. So you just you, you Jimmy will wave his flag. <laughs> I told Melinda. I told Melinda. You know that yeah, that he's good. just an administrator. Oh. But I said Jimmy, you're probably right. It probably is just an administrator. I have no idea if he's been at any military position reinstated. But I will find out. <laughs> Here, you guys keep going. I'll call him and laugh. You guys can watch me laugh. <laughs> Well, to tell well, no, no, put him online here. He's yeah. a say he's we've confirmed he's a contractor. Yeah, let's pull a Jimmy. Jimmy let's does this. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy, let's go let's, to Jimmy. Jimmy, this we're is, on. We need you. This is like live TV here. <laughs> I Every have, week we'll we'll get a thing. We'll, saved under a code name. Hold on. We could have we could have a weekly show and we'll phone up people. Whitmore's la you guys. I I can imagine Tom Whitmore must be laughing. We can right phone now. up the Pentagon. We can phone up all sorts of uh, researchers and. I'm going to go to a pay phone and call that other number back. Well, but you, could, you, Jimmy, Jimmy's going to glow it in my face, though. Jimmy's going to uh, be like, tell yourself, tell yourself. Or, <laughs> or we can we can phone Lou Elizondo. Do you sell the greeting cards? What are you doing these days? <laughs> we could call Lou. Jimmy could do that to Lou. This will be good. We have Jimmy Church on the show. We'll, we'll put it in the, the promo. Here he is, maybe. Hi, Plus, Jimmy. What's up? Whoa. Oh, oh, hey, Jimmy. I'm here with Grant and Melinda. <laughs> you're, 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 and live, you're live you're on live. TV. Live, live with us <laughs> and we've just had breaking news so grant what was the breaking news <laughs> oh you read it because you got the message from, I, from I can't, tom I'm whitmore on like i just lost it oh uh, we tom tom whitmore that uh lou elizondo is a contractor for space force and he confirmed it and he confirmed it with Lou. He confirmed it. He talked to Lou and confirmed it with Lou. He says, "I told you." <laughs> <laughs> I told you last night. I thought you were right, uh, Jimmy. I told you last night. I thought you were right. He's probably a contractor, but I'm going to still ask my source if he's uh, had any military reinstatement. But probably not. But still, it's he's heading up. The point being, you guys, whether he's a, you know, yes, he's a contractor. Yes, he is heading up. Grant says you owe him 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Jimmy? Jimmy's saying I owe him 50 bucks. No. no, there was no money bet. Melinda, yes, yes, I'll get you yes, sir. A space Force, a contractor. You can be a pastry chef at Vandenberg. That's <laughs> there my you go. job. <laughs> Melinda. My my reliable source says he's heading it up. Tours. I'll be the pastry cook. <laughs> my my reliable source, my very reliable source says he's heading it up. All right, Jimmy, you're the best. There we go. You can you can put that on his show tonight. He can add that to his show she tonight. Says, she says her very reliable source is 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 my. Now, I'm not telling you who it is. I can't. I I'll because. Yeah. We don't, I think we, Jimmy. I think Jimmy knows who it is. Jimmy does know. My yeah, very reliable. Yes, he does. I did tell him. my very reliable source that asked me not to give his name says <laughs> we're running says, way behind. You got through these things in like two and a half hours. We're two <laughs> three pages deep. Because <laughs> we're having too much fun. But um, but my very reliable oh, source yeah, says all he's absolutely <laughs> heading it up. He's he's like the director, no, chief administrator. <laughs> 
I'm trying to give this. Does, no, does, like, does Jimmy want to promote his show for tonight? Hang on, you guys. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let Jimmy promote he, his show for tonight. Uh, we will. We will. <laughs> Jim- Hey, it's better your than daytime show. TV. It's better than daytime. Jimmy, pr- pr- promote your show. Put him up to the mic or whatever. Tell him so. to promote his show for tonight. Um, I'm in the middle of it right now. Um, why, uh, Melinda, I was going to call you a little bit ago. I've got to talk to you about some other stuff. Okay. Um, so when are you guys going to, re- Melinda, call me when you're, when you're clear. Okay. Hey. It's, it's probably <laughs> going to be three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like three hours from now. Yeah. I can wait. Uh, I can wait three minutes, Melinda. Oh no, we'll put Melinda on. A no, break. no, 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 no. No, we're doing this, Jimmy. So it's gonna, it's gonna have to be like two hours from now because I'm, I'm doing this right now. We'll get you. I'm now Melinda's person. Or, or I can talk and Melinda can make the phone call. I can talk and Melinda yes, can make the phone call. Maybe I can break away. Yes. Yeah, break away for a couple minutes. Okay. But when we get to your notes, I'll break away. Bye. Okay, you phone Jimmy. For my coffee. Bye. Okay. I'll, fall, I'll phone Jimmy. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll do the cover page. Let's go. If you, can you pull up the cover page? I'll talk about the cover page. I okay. But we're still, uh, we'll, okay, let's move yet. through these. Wait, we're well, gonna move you're supposed these. to phone Jimmy. Leave and phone Jimmy. No, 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 no. Let's get through these. Let's move faster through these. Okay, we're almost faster. there. Okay, okay. We're almost done. <laughs> That's what they said when they're. No, actually, you're right. You're right. We're not almost done with Jack. Can we stuff. go? I'm the flipping next through. Page. We're not almost done. Okay, okay. So, um, so going back to that last one, it said today's detectors, intelligence per- personnel know a piece. So that's significant. It, that last page again, intelligence personnel, no piece, no plan exists in 85 anyways. All reports tell similar stories. So there we go. That's self-explanatory. Okay, next. They need a planner. That's what they're saying. We need someone. They needed a single mom. And there yeah, you go. They needed yes. a single mom. Okay. Okay, security <laughs> should should be compartmented. Duh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That, yeah. That's how they do stuff. Okay. Should include all source data. I guess I understand that. Okay. Should handle unclassified interactions and should be told. <laughs> Everyone loves this. Jimmy talked about this last night. Should be totally legal. Yeah. <laughs> like they No Watergate stuff. Like I don't, what, what, you know, mm. no secret uh, acid that- experiments on the population. Like, I mean, what are they referencing here? Yeah, well, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like in the old days when they worried about it being legal. Now they don't even care. They just go try to stop okay. us. Okay. Next page. Kind of important. Money. No, not oh, yet. Goals. Goals. <coughs> All right. Possible like goals. First, first two. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Create a peaceful earth. Good to know. Glad at least they're concerned about that. And they they call us. Because I mean, these were these were all the companies oh, yeah. that made weapons, you know. So there you go. Okay. Um, prevent war. Preserves societal history. Establish communication. Obtain assistance. Establish existence. So I guess that's existence of an ET presence. I'm guessing. Hey, they okay. accomplished that one. Yeah. yeah, and break breakthrough to twenty second century science. Yes, thank yep. you. We're yeah, talking that's, future. Yeah, good to know they're doing that. Obtain tech. Now, now the highlighting was for me for my other presentations. Obtain technology spinoffs, non lethal weapons, as biological controls of processes. Yeah, yeah, biological controls of processes. A little scary there. Okay, new materials. Duh. Okay, A- agri agri. Agri. It should be agricultural agri- production <laughs> pro- productivity jump. Yeah, I, I think there's a misspelling made there. Yeah, ag- A- agricultural. agricultural productivity jump. Yeah, it might be someone messed up. Uh, maybe uh, wide band stealth. Okay, then develop a gravity interaction system. Ding 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 ding. They want to build craft. Right, develop a gravity interaction system. They want to build anti gravity craft. Boom, boom, boom. You know, obviously. Okay. Uh, discover high tech, reliable paranormal performance. So, you, to use technology in, in 
in repeatable, you know, uh, reliable paranormal Psy. performance. Psy. Yeah, the, Psy. The yeah, remote viewing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and every and everything else. Yeah. yeah. Psychokinesis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and parry a Soviet threat. In other words, to you know, use in relationship to a Soviet threat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. So I think that's self-explanatory, but you guys, that's why I use that in my meetings. Cause it's yeah. like, this was their reason for being, you know, right yeah. here. The, yeah. What's the word in French grant? You told me the other day on the phone, red uh, raise, to, raison d'être. Yeah. Raison d'être. Reason uh, to be. Raison this is, the, this is their right. Raison d'être right there. Right? I, okay. I want to ask real quick, maybe a history buff can tell me real quick because I was only four or five or six, but did, didn't the Berlin Wall fall shortly after this? Was that 1990? 1990. 1990. Nine, five that, years later. That was nine, that 1990. Okay. Yeah. I thought I was younger than that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. <laughs> oh, that's next. Me. Next. Next. I need the clicker. Click. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay. Goal selection criteria. Are they comfortable with it? <laughs> that, that, yeah. that, that cracks me up, actually. Yeah. Uh, the advantage to the United States. Goal selection, incredibly, but, but, it, it, incredulity low. Okay. Yeah. Incredulity low. Maximum payoff to mankind. Yeah. Earliest successful milestone and minimum risk of disastrous failure. <laughs> they don't want to screw up. That's pretty funny. It's, yeah. I don't know. I, you know, I, if anyone else wants to read more yeah. into that, you can I mean, say so in the comments, but they're, they're, that's that. Okay. In peace on earth. It kind of sucks if you disastrously fail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one project themes. We're there. Next, one. Next, I know, I know. I'm just. I keep moving my arrow across the where it needs to be. Themes. Okay. This is. A, I should make a comment here. This is something. Go down that, just a, a tiny bit. There we go. That's this good. is something that's not in the Oak Shannon notes. There's no mention, sort of, of a threat thing. You have it in your. Yeah. your but this, your but this is the overhead projectors. Yeah, that everyone yeah, yeah. in the meeting is following. Yeah, but I'm saying okay. it's not in the Oak Shannon notes. This is where there's a big difference between the two. That well, yours maybe, has this, mine doesn't Oak, have maybe anything Oak about didn't, this. Maybe Oak didn't like this part. Maybe he had to go to the bathroom at that time. Yeah, that or that is he, yeah, he either went to the bathroom or he just didn't like it. Or, or he had to phone the Jimmy Church. Long lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> was time there was time there travel a during their meeting? Okay. Project <laughs> themes. Consolidate existing data to establish a threat. Okay. That that so they they project themes what what are the projects going to be about this is one of the projects these guys want to take on you guys just realize what's being said here you know the these are the themes of the projects that these guys want to start they're going to start a project which by the way they've had ongoing from 85 till right now okay so cons consolidate existing data to establish a threat. See, this ties the 85 meeting into exactly what they're saying now. They wanted to establish a threat. Yeah. There you go. UFO database, create a UFO database. Okay, which they've done with To The Stars and that program that they developed and everything. So you guys, they're, they never stop doing these things. UFO database, a classified database. Oh, wow. Is it have these guys been involved in a classified debate database that they've been working on for 40 years or ha really have they hmm, I wonder um, an abduction database. So you guys that's the other thing they were really interested in and we're going to get more into that grant because it's up your alley with why they were interested in the abductees collect new data install sensors. They want to create sensors did they do that i'm you know does anyone know did these guys install sensors well they didn't get any money in the end that's my understanding they didn't, yeah, they didn't get any yeah. money so the whole thing fell apart okay or well except for it did get money <clears throat> from big low and osap yeah but it, it wasn't this money. it wasn't this program this program sort of folded and they went into what i'm program. saying is these guys morphed enough yeah yeah folded. yeah but but they not just this, this i'm saying didn't. nothing ended they just changed names they change size and shape, just like the crafts they're trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed names. They changed names. Yeah, some of the they got older. 
But now so there was a lot of sunlight? tech that came out in the, in, no, in the 80s, you know, yeah. that started with the okay, so, so, release. But and, I'm, my, my point being, these guys morphed in to a very big low group and then NIDS, OSAP. I mean, NIDS, BASS. Uh, I'm sorry, let me do this again. You know, but just kept morphing from one to the other. And, and that it was still a lot of the same people with a lot of the same goals. The That's my circle one. The obtain okay. direct contact, physical, psychological. Okay, so collect new data. Yeah, d uh, define several credible scenarios, develop new physics theory. That's interesting to develop a new physics theory. And then what I cite in my notes, that's why it's highlighted, is to obtain direct contact with ETs, both physical and, and cyclical, I mean, mental, cyclical, or psi, you know, okay, psi. So does that mean paranormal e means? Five. Of course, they're saying, contact they're saying that. developed direct yeah. contact, physical contact, or Mental, well, no, that C5 is to call in physical craft mostly. In this case, they're saying to that, that they would consider contact that was cyclical, psychic in nature, or psi or paranormal in nature kind of contact beyond so like, physical let's contact. Channel, let's channel a Palladian. Yeah, yeah, and, or remote view them in this case. And, yeah. Even. Let's get yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, one. like, you know, that's. Yeah, I that's, remember this is the remote viewing guys. So this is, that's a big part of their is thing. this like I'm mentally connecting with the Venusians on Alpha Centauri? You know what I'm, okay. that's, yeah. Yeah, that's. Okay, the, the next I'm one remote. is, okay, next, next slide yeah I, I i think you're right you know i it may not be as far out as some of the stuff you're saying but maybe it was i i wouldn't rule it out okay uh selection criteria a good plan will so this is so this is the so selection criteria for their programs um so good plan will have to do these things in other words okay that seems straightforward satisfy prime goal and several others maximize success probability have airtight security so in other words a good plan will satisfy prime goal and several others a good plan will maximize success probability a good plan will have airtight security a good plan will provide hooks for management review a good plan will provide parallel paths a good plan will involve many um, involve many for synergism I'm not sure what they mean by that. Grant, do you know what that means? A good plan will involve many for synergies. Oh, to synergize, to, to combine them. Maybe a good I plan will mean they word. could combine them. Synergism, yeah. like to synergize, to, 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 to yeah. combine them, they'll work, they'll work, the plans will work but with each other. Synergy become a pop culture word. It was like when I was young. It's like okay. everything synergize okay yeah. okay so so okay i think you're right nicole so yeah, involve no, many for synergism very... so in other words these plans will work with each other i think that okay to extrapolate there and then take advantage of conventional good planning methods right i okay. think that's lingo like we hear it today like we've heard yeah. oh i'm in a leadership position or this you know, now take... now we get into Jack's money. Okay, go next. Okay, hold on, because I got another bit of breaking news. Just I think it's in. funny. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Davies did contact John Alexander directly, and he says ATP operating on the budget already appropriated for the office Alexander reported to, nothing additional. Okay. Yep. They had okay. money, but not money that they wanted. They had a little bit. That's how I take that. I'm sure John's also going, why are they talking Not about enough this? To buy the MADAR system or what will be future Skyhub or all that. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Okay. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, good to know, though. Good. Yep. Good to thank know. You, that, Jonathan. That, yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. You but got you very, very. Kisses to John Alexander. Mm. Very, very, very good. You got very good listeners here. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, yes, we certainly do. Okay. Out evaluation procedure, e evaluation data. And it says to the left under the category project alternate alternative. And then across the top, it says goal, success, security, management, parallel, synergism, planning, and rank. Now, you guys, I'm not sure what these numbers are. Um, 
if they are in fact talking about money or if they're talking about numbers. So goal was 17, success 26, security 35, management 44. So I, um, I, I admit when I look at this, I am not certain what they're talking about. Grant, how about you? Grant, your mic, you're mute, muted. Grant, you're I'm muted. Not, yeah, I'm just sending a message to Nicole. Oh, oh, okay. But you were muted. So Grant, what do you think these numbers are? Because oh, they're, then to they're the far scaling right them. is ranked. In terms of importance, they're scaling them so they can put the priorities of, of uh, it's, a, it's a thing they do in, I don't know. In okay, so these, so these various the, numbers must mean a point system. The, the, the and, rank and thing is at the end. That tells like you the, how important Like the it first is. one would be 36.42 because the 42 is written in one column together. So I'm wondering if that means like a point system, like 36.42. And no. then the next one would be 18.48 since the four and the eight are written in one yeah, but the, the important one is the rank on the end. Just go through the rank thing, okay, how so, they rank the issues. Yeah, so they they ranked the issues. So de detector deployment was, was their number first one. priority. That first was priority. their first priority. Yeah, first priority. And then uh, and then their second priority. So we'll do them in number if you jump down. The second priority is side contact. There you go. Was their second priority. The psychic was their yeah. second priority. Their third priority was um, study, I guess, the overflights. Yeah. So good old fashioned sightings, um, right? I guess that's what yeah. that means. And their fourth priority was classified data to yeah. look into the classified data on this already. And uh, fifth is a UFO database to create a UFO database. Six, so I guess they had everybody maybe vote and rated them or whatever, but anyway, so yeah. six was to define the scenarios. Seven was to, I guess, attack theory, it says. So, you know, to, uh, what do you think they mean by that grant attack theory? Okay, and eight was the abductee database, it was eight. So that's how they rated. Yeah, that's so it's interesting. They have abductees Abduct last. Well, abductee abduction database was eight. Yeah, that's it. And but psi contact was number two. Yeah. So like kind of the interesting. attack theory, is that them like postulating on an outside attack, you know, like the alien? Uh yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's what I always thought that meant. I, yeah. I think is, that's is this like I don't know. How yeah. does Star Wars, like Reagan Star Wars program, like fit into this scenario right now? Yeah, maybe they were looking at stuff like that. So um in 85 they Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, but it, but it, it, they weren't that concerned about it because it ranked seventh. Okay. Or they, or they're looking into it. They were going to do these things. This was just the order that they were going to approach them, you know? Okay. So, so I think we can go the next sheet. If we're good guys, can we go the next one? Yep. I'm skipping. Sorry. Proposed scope. Proposed scope. On the left, you have you have under task, so I'll list all the things under task. Under task, you have deployed detectors and monitor. Then you have overflights, and then you have three access classified data, and then you have four go for psi slash RV contact. In other words, remote viewing. So psi remote viewing contact. And then on the right, it's, it says good result. Um, so number one is modern so next to deploy detectors and monitored be modern re modern reliable data on signatures and locations maybe meant to write model but whatever modern reliable data on signatures and locations so that would be a good result from do from deploying detectors and monitor okay so good result would be to modern reliable data on signatures and locations a good under good result for overflights would be tight correlation with other observables. Isn't that interesting? In 85, they're using the term observables. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in 85, they're using, so they're saying a good result to the studying the overflights is a tight correlation with other observables. A good result to number three, accessing classified data is to, to know the scope and quality fallout results very They're believable. very be believable sensors poised for tasking 
So that would be, so they want to know, so, so to a good result would be from the accessing classified data to know the scope and the quality and the fallout after, you know, from it, to know the results uh, that were very believable and to know the sensors that were poised for tasking from the classified data. So that's where they're going to find out from the classified data. You guys, this, you know, these guys are just really looking into this back then. Okay. And number four, to go for Psi RV contact, as I said, a good result would be maximum return on investment, ROI. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, to, to, to have a maximum ROI, to have res usable results, I, usable results that they can implement, right? From Psi and RV. Doesn't that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. And then it might achieve the goal directly. So they might achieve goals directly through SIRE RV contact, and they're going to have a maximum return on investment because it won't cost a lot to do, I guess, and uh, and yet uh, hopefully get um, good usable data that they can use. I think that makes perfect sense there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at the bottom to defer UFO abduction review. So they're deferring that, you know, the abduction database review part, and to defer, to defer theory studies scenario speculation so they're not they're less we had an abduction database in the 80s i mean i know that I, well not, they ended up they ended up they ended up paying abduction groups for them like mufon and that and the and carpenter and his whole notes that became what's known as the carpenter have, affair mufon didn't have the ert then opus wasn't formed then yeah i mean yeah who, but you but you had you had you had the abduction study project so like done. he had jacobs was he well no no no, no. you had they john carpenter carpenter, carpenter that carpenter was a big was, yeah that was a big there was deal. a big controversy they bought, when he sold they the all to the, bigelow yeah he sold mufon's okay. abduction files to bigelow well his files yeah the ones aggressions no he no the problem was he was head of abduction research for mufon oh, okay. at the time and did it for MUFON. No, that was the problem. He did it. He sold them MUFON's abduction stuff. And that was a huge, huge controversy. Yeah. And the abductees went ballistic because they, the abductees said, we don't want our abduction stuff going to John right. Alexander. Like, who was working with like hypnosis and regression at this time was oh, everybody, everybody. Okay. Well, it's not really that much because they just started like 85. We're still early on in the bed, but Hopkins only started in 75 and Jacob started probably what in the eighties, early eighties. Carpenter was going. Yeah, uh, um, and um, um, what's his name? Who just passed away the last couple of years? Um, um, Leo Sprinkle. Yeah, Leo Sprinkle was the early guy. Yeah, and he had done a yeah. study early on. So and and Bud hey, was starting to get into got, it. You guys just got called old geezers. I'm just saying. Old and geezers. Say, yeah. Well, that's true. Old geezers are my mentors. <laughs> oh, there you go. There we go. And and uh, John Carpenter actually agreed to an guys, interview. I, I contacted called, him. He agreed to an interview. To the audience, wisdom comes with age. I know. They're teasing. This is all in lighthearted. It's because I, I keep saying I'm like five in 1986. And, yeah. you know? and, and what Melinda and I are trying to do is we're trying to record everything before we leave here. Yes, that's true. To, to put our that's material that's, carry it that's on. true. Okay. So next, now next <laughs> is right a here. next is a spreadsheet done in the old program access. Go to the next page, Nicole, please. Oh, sorry, I was still being geezer funny. Here we go. Back <laughs> on track. <laughs> Believe it or not, audience, I'm trying to keep this moving forward and focused. I really, really am. Okay. It's hurting cats. I'm hurting Love cats. It. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Task one. So this is this is done in the old program called Access, where you would come up with work schedules. I used to do these for contracting companies and stuff. Okay. God, this is awful. <laughs> this that keeps then, people on track and schedule. Yeah, it was, well, it was it, this is a printout from right. what would be electronically. Oh, so it, you'd, so you'd enter in the data and it would show you when we're beginning and exact dates this is scrunched down so it just shows the months but you could expand it it would show the dates and construction companies would know like they gotcha. distribute this this had to begin on this date this had to end you know and the and then the 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 contractors coming in and putting all the water 
stuff in and then the guys doing the electrical and when uh -huh. they were there at the same time and you know so you know it kept everybody on track this 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 was a big deal so these guys for their projects and their work would have used this at the time for sure like this is i i think it's still used in a form but this i think it's the part i was much updated that there's rendlesham glyphs <laughs> hey hey everybody out there if you think we're geezers grant and i these guys Right. You're talking Kit Green and Hal Putoff and, and Jack yeah. Houck and, you know, the, and Oak Shannon and, and, and then going back to, uh, you know, the rest of these guys on this list and Valet and, you know, yeah. and John Alexander. They're redefining a geezer. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, you got to remember John Alexander started UFOs in 1947. I mean, Grant and I were, these guys were in their 40s and doing this when Grant and I were knee-high to a grasshopper. Yeah, so there right. you go. This yeah. is a legacy right here. You know, legacy show. Right? It's a legacy right. program. We need a youngster. And we yet, hey, you know, know what? I don't, in not bad math and some of those guys, they're going, they're still going strong. You know, we were talking to help put, put off or Jacques Vallée or, or, you know, Alexander, yeah. you know, these guys for as old as they are, they're really going strong. So I'll give them, I'll yeah. tip the hat to them. Okay. Yeah. Task one, analyze data. So you, I'll just read through these real quick. Analyze data, decide location. So they're saying how many months it'll take, you know, and then like, it, let's say when you actually go into access, it would spread out and show you the actual days. And Okay. So uh, decide locations, deploy, monitor. Task two. Uh, select targets, do the flyovers, access. So you guys, they had every intention. Maybe I don't know if they actually did any of this. That's what's interesting here. Did they actually accomplish any of this? Um, select the targets, do do the flyovers, whatever, flight, uh, access photos. So they're going to take photos. You know, I mean, come on, this is, this is what it says. Task three, establish a need to know, uh, do interviews. Look at boom, boom, boom. They're going to do all these interviews. They probably had multiple ones right after each other. That's why each triangle is the beginning or the end of a thing, you know? Uh, so there you go. Um, there interviews, so trans, transcribe, trans, and then they're giving themselves a little more time after that to transcribe the interviews and then, and then state the conclusions from all their interviews. And by the way, you guys, who were they interviewing? Right. Well, they're interviewing Psy people, but I'll tell you one thing that we know that they were interviewing back then because that's in my other presentation. These guys back then were very involved with abductees, okay, and have been all along, by the way. Right. So that's one of the things. Okay, task four, they're going to select the viewers, select the remote viewers, pick the targets, transcribe the results, and give the conclusions of what's found in those remote viewing targets. If you go up to task one and deploy, there's no triangle there. If you go to task two and select targets and flight, there's no triangle there. And then you go down to establish well, maybe, the need to know. Yeah, so suggest Nobody it's open-ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's and right. And down here under four, yeah, the only thing is the conclusion. So they didn't get to the viewers or the targets or to the transcription part. I don't know what prepare a 100M program. I'm not sure 100 millimeter, 100 meter, 100 slideshow film presentation and 100, 100 million dollar program yeah, oh be. you're right 100 million dollars that's what it has to be <laughs> oh, they they we, you know we, that's and okay they were dreaming big 20, or whatever maybe like, maybe, maybe these guys were dreaming big i wouldn't rule it out you know okay next page so i think that's yeah that's me <laughs> Next page. <laughs> cost. Yay. Here we go. Okay. Here's cost. So you have one detector deployment. Now you guys, these are prices in 85 and they were probably low balling. <laughs> Who knows? Government's always cheap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. De detector deployment with, with not including labor, non-labor. And, and the K is it. So these, they're saying this is all in thousands. So $200,000 for detector deployment labor then separately. 44,000 or mm. What's mm slash thousand? I don't know what the m is. 44 monthly, a oh, months, maybe months, maybe months, 44 months at 440,000. That might be that might be true. That you know, again, we're thinking 85, so so 200,000 for for de the detectors and and then labor is 44 months for 440,000. 
okay, we'll go with that. The total thousand is 640,000 for detector employment. Overflights uh, that they're gonna, that they wanna do is um, 100,000 labor, 12 months, 12 months is 120,000 and total is 220,000. Okay, classified data, they're saying, let's project it's gonna be uh, 25,000 for labor for 12 month period at 120,000. And yes, this is all making perfect sense now. And 145,000 total. And high tech, um, uh, the, the high tech stuff that they wanna do, um, non-labor 100,000. And for the labor for 12 months, 120,000, 220. So they're just giving very general numbers yeah, they don't even say high tech anymore. It's all and so they're saying. So they're saying they they feel they can do all this with funding for one point two million. Bottom right. So for one point two million, they can do all this. That's so cheap. Jack Sarfati wanted a million. Well, in eighty five, in eighty five, in eighty five, that <laughs> those numbers were very significantly different in eighty five. Oh, I know, like a lot of money then. I'm saying now, and how much did? Uh, all of these would be what times 10 now, you know? Yeah. Right. So what was or more 1.25 million for doing all that? That would be, yeah, maybe 10 times 10. So all times 10 or times 20 now had $22 million budget to work with. Right. No, yeah. 20 million. Yeah. In, so. the, in the, whatever. So you do you think Jack Sarfati was serious when he said he could build a Tic Tac for a million dollars? He no. was yelling that to Trump like every no. chance he got. He was no, like, no. a million. No, no, no. I think he was just trying to see if somebody would be interested. I don't know. I don't know. I but want no, to that's start a obviously not. me for him. I want to be like, give Jack a million dollars. <laughs> no, if, they, if just doing this is 1.2 million back then, oh, and, they're, and they're just doing data collection, then you're talking, you know, if they're going to spend all that on data collection, on man hours and, and equipment, you know, then you're I talking. Know, I can't even buy know. a tablet without spending 800 bucks. So let's. Yeah. So, so like I said, those numbers today would be times 10 or times 20. Action. You know, times 20. Okay. Action. And again, they were, they're doing data collection on that. So it's, yeah. you know, that's, and yeah, there's equipment involved, but that's minimal okay okay action uh initiate initiate and selected source procurements initiate selected source pro procurements um okay no idea um and then plan a media release now if cover is blown later Woo! that jimmy jimmy really got off on that one last night hunt, hunt grant grant you there with us yeah yeah yeah, plan a media release now if the cover is blown later. Grant your videos off. Do you know that? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's eating or something. I like the get work statements written, but then get they work statements down, written. Yeah. Don't take notes on the secret group. There's no notes that exist, but get written statements so we can have that one guy destroy them later. <laughs> Maybe. I maybe know, or maybe they're just all assigned tasks gonna... well, hang on, you guys they they went on and had more meetings after this this was the kickoff of an ongoing yeah, thing great. so maybe that's to say get work statements written and come back for next time you know kind of thing well and it's in oaks notes what am i thinking of yeah now? that that this that, that'll help explain and then the last one next page is the very last line the benefits are c goals for answers so the benefits in other words were addressed when you go back to what the goals were when in Oaks notes, just real quick, when they talk about the media release is now, you know, they're like, this, are, this is already broke or it's already out. We haven't kept it secret, you know, or a secret enough was what it kind okay, of. Okay, Grant. Yep. Grant, are you prepared? I'm prepared. That's, okay. All right. Okay. If you're prepared, I think for you to give the background on how you got your notes from Eric and all that, I think would be good. And for you to start yours. And I can bow out for just a few minutes to call Jimmy. Okay. And also use the, the powder room. So I'm going to go do that. And, okay. uh, and, and back now. what I need to know is I don't have Oaks notes up here. So Grant, can I just switch the screen share to you? And can you screen share them? I don't have them on. I only have them on my phone. 
Right. I well, I had them emailed, and my email is doing that stupid thing. Try try to get into your email real quick, Nicole, because we got to have them. Okay. I'm stopping my share. Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye, Melinda. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna powder room and call and Let's call do a you. Five know. minute break. Yes. Yes. Five minute break. Okay. Everybody, five minute break. Get your drinks, your food, use your restrooms. We're coming right back. Okay. Yeah. Y'all come back. We've been at it three hours. So yeah, we need a break. If I was like fade to black or spaced out radio, I'd play you guys a commercial or throw in some art, but no. No commercials. You know who I love? I love Christina Gomez's commercials. She's dancing. She's like, this is the best commercial break ever. I want to have a <laughs> dance party with Christina Gomez. <laughs> well, you can dance. I pretend like I can dance. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, like I, I love it. <laughs> that that would that would get some shares. I see. I think we could have a dance off, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> have a dance off. It'd be amazing. You'd win totally. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. I will lose. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Five minute break. Five minute. Are you timing it? Everybody in YouTube, I'm going to scroll back through and look at the questions and make sure I got them all. Okay. And you, you're going to pull up my slides. I, I'm going to not go as detailed as Melinda. Otherwise, we'll be here till 10 o'clock tonight.
personaje. No questions. If anybody wants a question, I'll answer a question while these girls are gone here. Yeah, Tom Whitmore makes the point that John Alexander talked to a, high, a lot of high level people. So if there's a real program, it is extremely well hidden. That is true. John talked to all the assistants to all the three letter agencies. What is my instinct on Corso? Mm -hmm. um, not sure. Some of the stuff that he said turned out not to be accurate. Um, I sometimes wonder why, whether he was allowed to go and tell his story, but he had to change certain parts of it in order to get the clearance. There's Melinda. Melinda, I'm yes. answering some questions here. You can jump jump in if you want. Okay. Are we going through the, all all your notes um, real quick? Didn't Alexander write a book and publicly state he was trying to be read into the real program, but he states there was no program where we would have bumped up against it. That's exactly the same thing that um, Chris Mellon claimed in 2016. I was on coast to coast with him. And what was that comment again? What what was or what's the question? You there? Hang on. Yeah. Chris Mellon claimed in 2016 that there was a program that he uh, there was no program. Otherwise, he would have run into it, um, and that he would have known because of his position inside the uh, Clinton and Bush administration. Well, he's changed this tune now. Says there is programs and there's legacy programs. So just because people think they are at a level where they would know that they would be told isn't yes. necessarily true. That's true. Yeah. No, I think I. I mean, obviously, that that's kind of the whole point of what we just went through with those notes. These guys knew a lot, but they didn't know everything, and they were looking yeah. into what classified programs exist. So even though they had their one foot in or were working for companies, they didn't necessarily know. And so I, I think that's demonstrated in, in my notes and your notes that th this group, for as much as they know, they didn't know everything, and yeah. they were trying to find out. Yeah, I that's I think that's that's clear. And, uh, and, and yeah, for as much as, 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 you know, and Mellon, I don't see a bunch of indicators that he had much prior involvement, you know, other than last five, maybe eight years, 10 years, you know, max kind of thing. And so maybe he had an interest and he was loosely following stuff, but maybe someone can 
if you know more about Chris Mellon's background, let me know. But but what if I, you know, he was just unaware that these things existed, but now he's learning, like you said. So now he's changed. And you yeah. guys, you gotta allow these guys to say something and change. Their views change. I can assure you, these working group members, since that meeting, their views have changed, you know, and they've grown. And even though you say they weren't looking that much abductions, it constantly comes up in my notes. And so they were looking into it. And we do know that they paid for abduction research programs. That's what my whole other presentation is about. And, and even now, the, the work with abductees that they're, they're doing between studying the blood and everything Gary talks about and the Cadet Putaman. And, you know, so the Gary Kit Green project has been going on for years. I know of people used in that abduction research study project. And I know people whose notes were part of the previous abduction research study project. So, and then Bigelow paid for not only all those and, and NIDS, but they also did the um, the thing about how many abductees, the um, um, unusual personal experiences thing that they had paid for and uh, the, you know, the Bigelow Foundation had paid for. And that came up with the, you know, the numbers from the major abduction researchers that they figured it was you know, and the Roper polls, that's what I'm saying, the Roper poll results. So they paid for that, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. So my whole other presentation gets into that. These guys have always had an interest, always involved with abductees over the years, going from one abduction research related project to the next, working with abductees until, like I said, this current time of them currently working with abductees with the uh, blood work and the Caudate Pudiman work. Did in your abduction research, did you answer the question, how many abductees can fit on the head of a pin? <laughs> are you talking on board sh ship or are you on talking ship. in the, yeah, are you talking about on board ship or in the third dimension in earth third reality? Dimension. Here you go. Yeah. Because on board ship, I think as many as they want to stick on there. There you go. That's you got it figured out. Yeah. Yeah. As many as they want, as many as the ETs want to put on there because they they have control okay. over space and time. Is I, I hear Nicole laughing. Are you there, Nicole? I am. I'm still maneuvering this email crap. And uh -huh. I think that actually we went over our four hour time limit. So it tried to boot us out, but uh -huh. I saved it. <laughs> oh, OK. You're welcome. <laughs> you, 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 you know, your picture has a hand in it. Does someone's it? someone's grabbing your neck there in the, yeah, in the photo. Rick Doty. He's trying to strike. Rick Doty. Oh, I see. He's trying to <laughs> shut you up. <laughs> Actually, I think it's Joe Mersia in that picture with me. I'm not sure, but Joe Zan. I was Joe, Joe Mersia. If you're listening, is that out of it? <laughs> Joe Mersia. Phone up Joe Mersia. Let's phone up Joe Mersia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe yeah, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah, Joe hey. Mersia. If you're listening, write in the comments. Is that your hand? <laughs> trying to strangle uh, Nicole. <laughs> Funny, pulling you in for a. I it might have been Bob Brown actually, or uh, Barb. Uh, Barbara hand, hand doesn't look ancient enough to be Bob Brown. It's a guy's hand. It's definitely a guy, <laughs> and okay. it's it's young looking. So there you go. Has so a while bit she's, of an olive tint. I, I well, while while Nicole is pulling it up, let me give you the background of how these notes came to me. Yes. And what the situation with the notes is now. Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to come back on real quick and say, Jimmy Church is absolutely killer dealer. He's amazing. He's he's all that and the bee's knees. And, you know, <laughs> there you go. but and him and I have something under the works that I can't say anything more about. There we go. Oh, it's more secrets. Oh, my goodness. More secrets. I'm sworn to oh, secrets. Everything's a secret. Okay. Oh, I know, man. I hate it. I hate it. man. <laughs> <laughs> At least you keeps you out of trouble. I'm in trouble all the time for. Oh Not God! I'm secret. like Jimmy tells me I am such a troublemaker. I'm always in trouble. Go. So let me explain how I got these notes while Nicole is uh, pulling up the slides. So now, how did I, how did I get the notes? Um, oh, okay. So in the, about around the year 2000, 2001, 2002, when the Wilson leak thing actually occurred, when the the meeting between Wilson and Eric Davis took place, I was dealing with various people from NIDS and NIDS for, for people's knowledge was doing all sorts of stuff. They were looking at cattle mutilations. They were looking at black triangles. They were looking at um, um, abductions. They were everything. They And what Bigelow would do is he'd call in these people six times a year, Kit Green, uh, 
valet, all, all the, the, the figures, and they would discuss this. And so he would be picking the brains of these very, very smart people. And this went on. And then they started moving down to four times a year and then three times a year. And they started to shut down NIDS. And the first person to get laid off was Eric Davis. So it was about that time. So I'm not sure when he got laid off. That was when I was basically talking to them. And what NIDS wanted to me from me and help put off in people was they wanted the Canadian research. I had done research on the Canadian government. They wanted, and the Canadian government, Wilbur Smith was working on gravity control. So Hal Putoff was always big into the propulsion system. And so they wanted to, what material I had on the Canadians gravity control program. So I sent that. And the other thing they were interested in that I had was I was good friends with Bob Emmenegger, who was the producer of UFOs, past, present, and future, mm -hmm. both the book and the movie from 1975. Uh, where they discuss all sorts of interesting stories about channeling an alien at, at um, uh, um, the National Photographic Interpretation Center and stuff like that. And um, the thing that they're interested in was in the, in the documentary, they had put in eight seconds of a film, which was a reported landing of an alien spacecraft at Holloman Air Force Base. And as Linda Hal tells the story, there was three different vantage points. There's two on the ground, one in a helicopter filming this whole thing as it happened. And Bob had been given the film by the by um, Bill Coleman in the Pentagon, and they had held this film. And at the very end of the film, um, Coleman said, uh, the time isn't right. It's the Vietnam War. You have to return the film. You can't put it in your documentary. And so this heavy set couple got in a small Datsun and they drove across the country with this film canister in the back seat. And they took it to the Pentagon. And so when the, the documentary came up, I asked Bob, I said, well, Bob, uh, there's eight seconds of film in the, in the actual documentary. And he said, well, yeah. And I said, well, Bob, you told me they took it back to the Pentagon. I said, you took it back to the Pentagon. How could it be eight seconds of film? He said, well, we were allowed to use that. And I said, well, why were you allowed to use it? And he said, because it didn't show anything. And I said, what do you mean it didn't show anything? And he said, well, it didn't show the beings coming out of the craft and it didn't show the craft up close as it landed. It, it, I know you could see it was this object coming over the over the mountains in the morning. It happened at six o'clock in the morning. So anyway, they were they wanted that material and they were going to interview Paul Shardle, who had a, a rollover car accident two day two weeks before NIDS actually interviewed him. So they never got to interview him. And he was the guy that actually said he saw the film. He described what was on the film and he was the security manager at Norton Air Force Base. So. Anyway, with that background, um, I was talking to Eric Davis and, and he shared a bunch of documents. Some of them I have not released, some of them I have. And um, I, was, I was in contact with him and he had just gotten laid off by NIDS. He was the first guy to get laid off. He was very upset. I had come through Las Vegas. I was looking for some files and he said, no, NIDS didn't have these files. And so anyway, I had a conversation with him there and had some discussions and we had some conversations. And at one point, he gave me the um, Oak Shannon notes. Oak Shannon had a heart attack, and he gave me the notes and basically said, well, you know, Oak is in very bad shape, and uh, if he passes away, then you can release these notes. So that's, I held the notes for like 20 years, and I talked about it to everybody. When the Wilson leak document come up, I said, the reason that I realized the, the Wilson document was so important even though i've never read the document i read parts of the first page and i saw oak shannon's name and i saw eric davis's name on the uh first page of the wilson leak document and i knew this was a real document because i knew that i would be the probably the only one of 10 people in ufology who knew oak shannon was and i knew that he was friends with eric davis because i had oak shannon's notes and um so uh, um when oak shannon went public um, I said, okay, well, the, the game's up now. I might as well release the notes because Melinda had made public the um, Ed, uh, the Hulk notes in, in, you know, little bits and pieces of it. And I said, okay, it's time, you know, these notes that we, we put this out because he's now public. Oak Shannon had got pu gone public with uh, Project Unity. And I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do the, the, the release. And Oak Shannon contacted me on Twitter and said, well, I'm not going to block it, but um, I'd like to see what's coming. Uh, can you send me a copy of notes? And I said, well, that's fair. So I I've, uh, scanned the notes. I sent them to him. 
And then he asked me the question. He said, well, I don't even sort of remember this. He seemed to indicate that it you know, really didn't make that much sense to him as to where he said, where was this and how did you get him? So I described how you know, I had been given these notes by um, Eric Davis, his friend. And um, at that point, he didn't say anything. And um, so we were going live on yesterday with the notes and it was like five minutes after we went live or 10 minutes after we went live. And suddenly this note came from Oak Shannon that said, um, if the notes get released, he has, you know, reservations about the notes, but he, he didn't say don't release the notes. He said, if, if the notes go live, they should go through project unity. Well, Nicole had been arranging and project unity was, um, Set scheduled for this Friday for an interview, had agreed to an interview this Friday with Richard Dolan and me, and we were going to go through the notes and that's where it stood with us. And so yesterday we didn't show the, the, the slides and today I'm not showing the slides, but Nicole apparently has them on the screen here. So I'll talk about them. And um, we um, just decided that um, it, it was after the fact and we had already agreed. We had made an agreement with um um, uh, Jimmy Church, and we'd made an agreement with uh, Dave Scott for tonight. And I had made an agreement with Nicole that um, I would go on her channel um, and I would let uh, somebody else leak the notes, as I did with the Wilson leak document. Um, I, I was responsible to get it on the internet and um, I had someone help me do it. And then I figured my job was done. So I did the same thing here where I said, well, somebody else can take credit for leaking the, the notes and um, we didn't show them yesterday, but today we will sort of review the notes because Nicole wants to share them and she didn't make an agreement with Oak Shannon. So the first page is, is extremely important. If we can sort of um, make it bigger so they can see the top, yeah. um, we don't really need to see the bottom of it, but the, the top of the thing and scroll down. Um, this is, um, I can't remember what G Jimmy called it, but you'll see it's top secret uh, restricted. And, um, so it's a very high level meeting that this thing took place. And on the very top of the document, you'll see that it was uh, Department of the Energy, which is extremely important because there are two different types of files. If you follow the whole thing with uh, Donald Trump and declassifying documents, the president can declassify stuff by saying it. He says, OK, I want this subject declassified. Then they scramble and they go and declassify all the documents or whatever. He can do that. He can't do it in his mind. He has to. There's but a grant. Process. Isn't it only while he's still president? Well, he's still president. Well, he's the executive. Yeah, see, yeah. that's that's he has to be the executive to be able to do yeah. that. Once he's no longer the executive, that he has, no, he has no power. Goes yeah. bye bye. That's yeah, and and that's that's that's, that's what I pointed out. The, that's what I pointed out with the with the whole thing about the videos, which I they finally admitted. Mellon has now admitted that he and and um, Lou Elizondo snuck the videos out of the Pentagon because my only question from day one was, how did you get the videos out of the Pentagon? And it was like, well, they're declassified. And it said that then that was exactly in this this uh, judge's ruling against Donald Trump that even if you declassify the documents, it doesn't make them personal, which means that when you leave the the your job, you don't get to load all of UFO videos and UFO files and take them home. They don't belong to you. They belong to the U.S. government. And once you're no longer president, you have to hand everything back. That's like when I was at the university, I ran at the university and they even made the point because we I was a big manager. And the point was you could fire someone for taking something out of the garbage. We own the garbage because what people would do is they would throw something in the garbage. Then they would come back at night to take it out of the garbage. And if they get caught, they say, well, it was in the garbage. I'm just taking it home. But the thing was, we own everything. We own the garbage. We own the paper. We own everything. You cannot take stuff home with you. And when you leave the last day, you hand in your computer, you hand in your keys, you hand in everything, you lose everything. They take your computer, they take everything. Or if they fire you, the first thing they do is bring in security to your office to take you out before you can ruin the computer they take you out and that's the whole thing you lose your power but the idea was even if it's declassified doesn't mean it personal it doesn't mean it's yours it still belongs to the u.s government so my question always was how did they get the videos out of the pentagon they had to have help from inside the pentagon sure, to get them out because when you leave in disgust as lou elizondo said he did you don't get to have all the videos as a goodbye present as you're leaving and you've yeah. heard them talk about all these videos you got these videos i even had a friend tell me that he had seen a classified video 
uh, of a UFO morphing. And I know that my friend is highly reliable and I know who showed it to him. And so there's all these videos floating around out there that belong to the US government. And I'm glad that they finally admitted they snuck it out. And we actually did this thing with this. Uh, yeah, um, I, I always assumed that Chris used his connections, people he knew. Right. Yeah, well, there's always, a there's a woman's name on there, and I can never yeah. remember her first and name. Rhonda Essex. Donna, not not Rhonda. Donna. Rhonda X. Rhonda Essex. Rhonda Essex was the person because we had a, a source inside the Pentagon and uh, Chase Williams, who actually put the documents, the Wilson documents, on the internet for me. It was a friend of his from childhood. He wasn't interested in UFOs, and he said to him, "There's this uh, R. Essex." Uh, can you do a check on it? I remember I was talking to him at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning. I'm talking to him. He's down in Texas and we're talking. He says, hang on. He says, I got a call coming in here. And then he said, he comes back and he says, we got a direct hit. I said, what do you mean we got a direct hit? And he said, Rhonda Essex. The woman's name is Rhonda Essex. She's in the she's in the public affairs office of the Pentagon, and that's where it's running this whole thing. And so she was the one. If you take a look at this uh, photograph that leaked out of the uh, Chris Mellon's website, where you see the four uh, DVDs, and then you see the packaging slip, and it has R Essex on it. That's Rhonda Essex. That's the person who helped, who at least packaged it and and gave it to them, and they got it out. So. That's the whole deal is 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 I, I have a disagreement with um, Chris Mellon. He says this is bottom up. There's no drip down. There's no government uh, handing stuff out and using, you know, crumbs and giving uh, stuff. That's absolute nonsense. They are getting help from the inside. There there is material. You do not leave the, the Pentagon with videos. They belong to the U.S. government. Doesn't matter who you are or who you used to be. So, in, well, hey, in this... I want to chime in on this yep. real quick because we've got Science Bob in the chat room. Oh, Science Bob. Uh, he is saying no. No, 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 no. That is the property of the people of the United States of America. But it's still controlled <laughs> by National Archives. When Bob left um, his job, it doesn't mean you can load up 32 boxes of files and take them home and say they're my files. They still belong. That's what that judge is ruling. Because it's declassified doesn't make it personal, which means it doesn't mean you can take it home. It's still you can get copies. If you want the copies, you can file an FOA. You can get copies. But you can't walk away with the original files from the U.S. government. They belong to the U.S. government. That is American history. <laughs> It's, yes. it's ours protected by our government for us. By the National um, Archives. When you go in the National Archives. That's right. No, Nicole, you're right. Ooh. It's the government doing it for us, protecting us because we elect them and hire them and pay them in our taxes to do that for us. Yeah. Then, I can tell you. It's supposed I to be work by and for the people that when it works, that's by and for the people. But let's yeah. move on to this interesting fact that Tom Whitmore is pointing out to us. The top secret restricted data is specifically a nuclear level clearance. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's it, this is Department of Energy. This is not. This is even Donald Trump can't declassify this because it's 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 uh, Department of Energy. That is the one exception to the president being able to declassify anything he wants. This is the one exception. He needs help to be able to declassify this kind of stuff. Wow. And and so it's it because because right because John Alexander was running it and that was he was with Los Alamos Labs, which was and and uh, even B Science Bob worked for Department of Energy. And uh, so that why is, that's why the, that's just I'm pointing out that this meeting was whatever, for, you know, the, well, it was a skip for the Department of Energy. Good. That's the hidey hole, right? That's what we all talk about. Like, where is a lot of this hidden? Well, and that was the rumor. But I think it was more just because John Alexander worked for Los Alamos Labs. And because yeah. so then he he hosts the meeting and it's done through through his uh uh, you know, arrangements and, and he was sure, with uh, sure. Les Alamos at the time. That's how he could request the skiff. Sure. All right. Yeah. So, or any, or any of the guys involved with Los Alamos, because there were a bunch of them that were, could request the use of the skiff at BDM McLaren me facility. Roll down. Yeah. Okay. I, I just wanted to Scroll. point that out because it's, it's a, yeah. it's a different type of document than your regular government document. It's, it's sort of, and, and so you see three guys from Los Alamos labs and, and, and uh, Oak Shannon was uh, with the labs as well. He's listed 
Oh yeah, Oak Shannon's there. Yeah. So there's three. And John Alexander would have picked these guys up because they were talking UFOs at Los Alamos. And you want to come to this meeting? They had the proper clearances. And John said that everybody had to have top secret SCI clearance to get into the meeting. And he also stated that uh, all the people paid for their own way to get to, into the meeting. There, this was there's no government funding in terms of bringing people to this meeting. So let's go to the next page. This is a little map that they drew before GPS. You had to have maps. People drew maps how to get how to get to the place. That if it were a map that I drew, it would be like turn left at the second tree, <laughs> street. And here we've done this already. This is the yeah. same slide that Melinda went through. This is the only one that sort of covers. And this is I pointed out the importance of this is is the whole hell put off makes a a um um a sort of a presentation and the importance of this is the fact that it's remote viewing and that remote viewing does not get known by the american public till 1995 10 years later when the cia declassifies and said oh remote viewing doesn't work we shut the program down and uh basically declassified the program and or parts of the program the name of the program and this is 1985 and they're talking about remote viewing in, in 85 in this top secret because these people had the clearances uh to i guess to discuss this this subject yep on point and, number two under the rv part i do like where it says the first little circled bullet point is one group picks targets slash one picks and works subjects one analysis can you guys hear me yep, yep. okay sorry i had muted myself and i was trying to say something but that's okay because I, I wouldn't have i shouldn't talk over you guys anyways yeah, I, I just want to emphasize what Grant just said. In 85, this is about the remote viewing program and Hal's talking this group about it. In 85, it's still extremely classified. Yeah. And so this is something very classified that Hal's telling them in a classified skiff to people with, with clearances, you know, but he's talking about it. This was way before anything went public. Yep. Yeah, you, so, you, might, you might want to send the link to Bob if we can bring Bob in here, because there's just some technical stuff that Bob may be able to add. Uh, like this 1500 magnetic field thing, whether what Bob thinks about that to be associated with sightings. Because I Bob, thought Jimmy Blanchett had talked about that. Bob, I'm going to send it to your um, Facebook Messenger. I'd be interested to get Bob's take on all this stuff rather than me rattling this to see what he sees as significant because we've got 26 pages. I don't know if we can go through What's every line in every page. Indicated? What's ELF indicated on point E? Electro, electro, uh, electromagnetic. No, that's uh, Bob will know. F that's the thing. Bob inducted. can answer, answer all these technical things that you're talking about here. Because they're using Electri ele electrical frequency or uh, something, some, 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 kind of, some electrical frequency thing. So Bob, Bob McGuire is the ultimate. Bob, uh, we need your guy. tech head. He's, we he's need your tech on, head. Well, yeah, but plus he's worked in security, high level security clearance type stuff for forever. No, I, no, I think it's right. So bring, almost his whole career. If he's willing to come in, bring him in. Yeah. Bob has like seven accounts, so I'm trying to send it. You're, you'll get them on one of them if you check all of them. And Bob's got problem here, so he can spell it. What? Just click on the link, Bob. I'm sending it to both his Facebooks and his Signal. <laughs> I think. Or I can email it to you. here. I can scroll down to you. Yeah, because he made a comment here. I'd like him to explain the comment he's doing, but he can once he gets here. Give it to him on Messenger. I did. Yeah. Bob, open up your Messenger. He's got one. So, yeah, we'll just wait for him to pop up. Whoa. Yeah. Just blinded myself with my own glasses. Here he comes. Boom. There we go. <laughs> now we actually have an authority in the room. We have an expert, folks. We have we, an, we have an, an adult has an adult has just <laughs> come into the I'll room. Click on click on video. Yeah, he's coming. He's connecting to audio. There he's on audio. And you have to yeah. scroll back to the last page. Oh yeah. There yeah. he is. Ta -da. There he is. Hey, welcome. I'm wearing his overall. Good outfit. Hey, Good he's outfit. working. 
We're, we're pulling them away from cutting the grass or something by the looks of it. <laughs> this is what I wear comfy all the time. <laughs> there you okay. Go. So let me see what you got. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, this 1500, you know what this means? Maybe make the screen bigger. We okay, don't really need our- statistical analysis of sightings. The numbers relate to visibility as expected. The altitudes as expected. Okay. So 1500 100, amp turns magnetic field. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Yeah, yeah. So amp turns. Okay. So there's a coil and this coil it, yeah. it is is has a magnetic field passing through it. Okay. And when the gotcha. magnetic field passes through this coil, it induces a current flow in the coil. Okay. okay. So there is a large ampere current induced by the magnetic field. And so when you have a sighting, you point this coil, turn it around in the field. And if you don't look out, you're going to get the crap shocked out of you because this is going to induce a big current. So that's what that says. So have you have you heard about this? Yeah, this, of course. Uh, I, I, I built magnetometers for spacecraft and everything else my whole life. There you go. That's why we got you here. There, yeah. I'm happy to help. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Just go. You go through this and and you pull out stuff you think is significant. okay. So group picks targets. Yeah. So look, CRV is you basically you've got a a black box and on it you write a number. Yeah. And you just this number is just kind of your ground. It's your it's your it's the foundation of the house you're about to build. And so yeah. you start writing stuff in the corner, what time and date it is, yeah. what's what your conditions are and so forth. And then you start you start with, is it human or is is it is it alive? Or yeah, is it yeah. I, organic. And, and I can just, address this, too. I, you I, just I, you just keep adding. Con you add yep. more complexity to your That's description right. until right. you and the other people. It's part you. of the structure, the remote viewing structure exactly. when you're taught so, so, or so, remote viewing or technical remote yeah, viewing. Yeah. Simeon Hine is teaching a class right now, and Lala and I are both in it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so, I uh, and I'm and I'm I'm a matter trained fact, viewer. Matter of fact, we have a class in 45. And minutes. you you know Bob okay. and, and Grant okay. that I am a trained <laughs> remote viewer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bob's only got 45 minutes, so let him race okay. through this document. Okay. I'd like to hear his comments on this. Document. Okay, so let's precognition evident, retro condition also used to successfully placed. Okay, so wow. Our, talks oh about my goodness. This. Oh my goodness. So they're yeah, claiming Hal Pidoff talks about this. Okay, they're claiming they're, they're 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 claiming that these remote viewing events, when they observe something, some things, they influence their minds, and all of a sudden, they are seeing predictions of the stock market. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, I knew they did it. They did what's called okay, um, so, um, associative what, what, remote viewing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, um, so, so let, me, let me keep going. So, yeah. that, that, so whenever you have a transmission, it's a signal of yeah. some type. And that signal has an information rate. It's called the Shannon entropy of the incoming communications. So that's measured in bits. Yeah. So you measure information in bits. And the rate at which transfer the information is coming in is very low. So the information transfer, as a, a remote viewer gets, is very, very, very low speed. And they claim this says that extra long frequencies are indicated. Very Why? Low. But why? Because low frequency, it means low data rate, and the e e energy equals the Planck constant times the frequency tells you that the energy is low and the bit rate is low. So you got you got to have a low frequency to 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 have that low energy dull bit rate signal coming at you. All right. Wow. Okay. So EM terrestrial noise does affect. Okay. So look, you've got this low bit rate but slow and slowly varying strong magnetic field and the earth uh, magnetic field is roiling all the time. The sun impacts it, uh, the, the churning of the dynamo at the center of the earth impacts it. It's a, it's an active motor. Okay. So you've got noise because it's not a perfect motor. It's not turning at a, a synchronous rate. It's jiggling around and wobbling and doing all this other stuff. And all that's called vibration due to the internal uh, uh, rotational structure at the center of the earth. And it's, it's a magma core. All right. All right. So uh, that's noise. And so this noise 
interferes with the magnetic field noise that that coil is, is, is the equivalent of that coil is picking up when it's coming inside your brain. So it's noise. And Simeon talks about this in every class, how your job is to listen to the low data rate signal that is consistent, yes. that's persistent. It never stops. It's always there. This low data rate signal is always there while the noise is random. And so you just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and adding multiple people, multiple looks, whatever. You keep adding this information up and slowly it washes the noise away. This is called the strong law of large numbers to a mathematician. And in the end, once you do all that adding and averaging, you get what's called the, the, the mean or the average piece of information. That average piece of information, which can be low, frequ low frequency, low data rate, very weak signal, comes up out of the noise by doing that averaging. Wow. That's what they're talking about. Hey, okay, so, so it says there's no, and so the last, the last bullet on the page is G. And yes. it says no statistical difference in pre-retro and real time. So this says, as a remote viewer, I can sit back and have a, a head full of goodies. And it doesn't matter whether they are from the past, whether they are right yeah. from right now, or they're yeah. from the future. They all produce an equally strong signal. Wow. That's right. That's right. Wow. So wow. let me ask real quick. Do we translate that in layman's terms? as like our collective conscious or our collective unconscious. So, so when, when several remote viewers work together, their consciousness are working collectively. They're, okay. each, of the, they're each of them listening to a so, different so I mean, different like when you're segment. supposed to tune in to that low frequency that's constant, yes. is that frequency our human collective consciousness or the yeah, it, it, collective it, it, subconscious, it, 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 the it, ether? It's at least the collective consciousness of the people that are working together. Gotcha. It's at least okay. that. Okay. okay. So yes. it can yes. be more because this is what this is what all these people, these CE5 woo-woo people keep talking about. If, right. we get, if we get a million people doing it all at once, suddenly we're going to reach nirvana and we're going to ascend to a higher plane. And well, that's or, what or we'll or we'll send out one coherent frequency that yes. will draw them in same thing same okay. thing and, and this, this is this is what it, this is what is so yeah. exciting to me about jimmy blanchett's work oh is my god a yeah. coherent yeah. digital yeah. signal yes. that yes. he knows excites these ufos okay With let's go with this review of tuesday now we're gonna we're yeah we'll move yeah. That. like go back go back nicole we need the oh. top of this page you're you're moving Oh, well, I thought you said we were good. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, this no. is, but this is, uh, we, Bob can quickly comment, but I think we, I want to get to the Bobby Rainman slide and stuff. And you only got a few minutes to go. I had 30 minutes to go. So we got to move. Yeah, the, uh, th this is pretty much, let's, let's look, I work for Bobby yeah. Ray Inman and he knows yeah. who I am. And yeah, I, okay. I, I almost went to work for him when he took over MCC in Austin, Texas. Wow. I know. So it. everybody out there can read along with this cash land. They're talking about the cases. Yeah. They're talking yeah. about reports. Yeah, this is, this is plain yeah, English. This, let's skip this. Skipping, moving along, moving along. Sorry, review of Thursday, Tuesday. Yeah, this Pass is on this, Wednesday. This is not much. This is boring. Keep going. Yeah. No, yeah. Pass. <laughs> should why should we do this? Fair to answer. Blue book report. Why content well, blue book well, reports? Well, well, not the, the final is, answer. This, this, there this is this is this is a YouTube audience, right? It's not going on a radio. Correct. Yeah, just, yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Because because condom was a F an asshole, and we should have answered him. <laughs> yeah, I don't have mine set to child friendly. So cuss away, Bob. Cuss away. Let him rip. I'm I mean, Condon, Condon was a lying, cheating jerk, so we should have answered him. And the blue, the blue book reports they were they were censored. Yep. Yeah, I was bitching yeah. about this earlier. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep going. Keep okay, going. let's keep. This is the Iranian thing. People okay, all know the, this. The, stuff, the, 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 the Iranian, oh, the Tehran, the, Iranian, the, yeah. the, Iran, the Iranian thing is one of the most remarkable UFO incidents in the history of. What's well, this right here? Where it's the, said, the equipment? Yeah, let's go through the equipment because Bob does equipment. Meter, Osco. Okay, so Ma McDonnell Douglas analysis the gun. Uh, system shut down. Okay, so the 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 Iranian F four. It was an F4 and it yeah. was traveling and he tried to trigger his gun to fire on the aliens. 
Yeah. And all of his radar and other things, his movements and his radar and everything was tracked by the Soviet Union because it's right across the Caspian Sea. And okay. this is the one that was in the phenomenon. Yeah. He said yeah. he regrets that he didn't try to make friendly contact. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes, That's because right. they because the weapon that they used or to tech tool they used reached out and it caused his, yeah. his mechanical and or electrical machinery in his gunnery to fail. And here they're saying now, now this is a different thing unless they're talking about the case, but they're saying uh, set. No, no, no. Lou or Len Sergeant. Bo- Bo- no, 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 no. So, 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 Sergeant. Then, oh, Sergeant. Thanks. Right. Sergeant, Sergeant Len Buckholz up with equipment. Buckles. So, okay. it, it, so you want, he, they wanted the guy to fly somebody else to fly back out there and see if they could stir up this UFO and send him with a magnetometer and oscilloscope and video equipment so they could record everything. Yeah. Yeah. They needed a sky hub on a fighter jet. Yeah, exactly. That's what they wanted. Yeah. A sky hub yeah. on a fighter jet. Okay. okay. Let's go to the detector. What's this okay. Detector? All right. So look, what, the, what they're claiming my their parent claim is that they noticed something was emitting at three gigahertz and 10 megahertz so they wow. want a detector Ooh. that they can record those signals with to see what see what if it if it's information bearing or is it just a tone or what the heck it looks like so you want a detector at three gigahertz and at 10 megahertz because they claim the ufo is transmitting that wow so okay. is that a type of transmission that jimmy blanchett gets back and he's yes. got to do his whole yes. thing and yes. he can break apart okay you him. guys there is a major bombshell on this page right here the most there there grant would probably agree with me the two most important things in these notes is the comment about Bobby Ray Inman and the reverse engineer. Well, let's go to it. I'm ready. And this, and hang on. And this, don't go. This line oh. right here, advanced theoretical, phys, phys, bleh, advanced theoretical physics 10, ATP 10. You guys, that is a direct reference. This is an 85, right? And yeah. that was written on the page. Am I right, Grant? That is yep. written on yep. the page in 85 yep. by Oak Shannon in the... <laughs> I love this direct relationship because every, you know, and to merge you and everyone else, oh, well, it's not working group. You don't know what the working group sent him. You don't know the NID sent him uh, to, to Wilson Davis, that Eric was sent by them because Eric and, and Wilson are talking about what? ATP 10. It mm-hmm. says it in there in the Wilson Davis notes. Boom, boom, boom. There you go right there. They're boom, talking boom. about, they are talking about in the wilson davis notes they are talking about the working group okay so let, let's go to inman because i gotta leave in 15 minutes yeah, yeah, okay okay that yeah. is a bombshell right there Linda, when you see gonna... that when you see that in wilson davis they're talking about these guys hey okay. one of my friends in youtube please okay. click that part of melinda out right now and i'll share that little clip of melinda Going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> let, let, let's let's go. Let's go to Bobby Ray Inman here, and here's this 1500 field. I know oh, there's more in here, you guys. We're zooming by that we should. We'll revisit. These are also up on the website. The link. Yeah, no, I'll go. I'll go them. over these later. Grant, and, Grant, and I'll we'll we'll talk. All, yeah. all, we all know each other. We'll talk about it. Mutilated cow part. <laughs> oh, the the calumulation yet. Well, there's there's Melinda's friend. Okay, go Howell. back, go back, go go back for a minute to Jack Hauk just for a minute. Here's, there's Jack Hauk. Just he's, just he's, let me go back just for a sec because I haven't yeah, seen Jack this. Howell. Jack Hauk recovered mater- materials about found. Re- recovered materials found. Wow. Well, okay, keep know? going to Inman because I yeah. got to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 We've got meta material. Yeah. And the Jack. Brazilian, that's the one that it. they're working on now. The Brazilian thing with the uh, where they got the isotope thing problem. So Brazilian keep going. Magnesium study, but so they're working on it. Well, well, while we're going, while we're going, okay, all right. So okay, this, here's let me, the one. Let me say, if, 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 uh, if, if, if elements are formed in other star systems, the ratio of the different atomic weight versions back, of, the, of the two two elements will be different from one star to the next. That's why the that's why there's an isotope problem. If you detect but, a different isotope ratio, you know they didn't come from our solar system. All okay, right, but the, the, I think the thing that that um, um, Nolan is saying is the they had different isotopes in the same fragments from the same 
crash where yeah. one had the isotopes messed up and the other one was normal. Yeah. I, I may not be 100% sure, but that was kind of weird. Well, I, I, I'm supp I was supposed to have talked to Nolan a week ago, but we didn't hook up. So, yeah, I mean, so what, okay, so let's go to Bobby Raymond here. Yeah, let's do this because I got to leave because I got to get ready for Simeon. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, so he he was with the Institute for Defense Analysis. Dad, give his background according no, 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 to no, no, how no, you no, met. No, 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 no. Bobby Ray Inman was director of the National Security Agency yeah. and assistant director of the National Security of uh, the Central Intelligence Agency. Yeah. And he was the Institute for Defense Analysis, Centers for Communications Research and Center for, Center for uh, Computing uh, both worked for Inman because they were both think tanks that worked only for the intelligence community and mostly NSA. All right. Okay. So that's, that's the connection to Bobby in. Yeah. All right. And the keep fact going. that this is said major engineering project. Now I've always thought they're talking about reverse engineering going on. Or, am I go down? Okay. Oh, and me. Get Sorry. to the that's, meat. I'm dropping okay. that Bobby project in. engineering project. Under that's all Bobby we have Ray. on Bobby. That's all, that's all we have, Bob. Okay. All right. So look, uh, when was this 80, what 85. 85. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yes, in yes, yes, yes. In 1985, Bobby Ray Inman founded the MCC, the Micro uh, Circuit uh, Court Consortium in Austin, Texas. It was a huge building. They had more. They, they, the people I knew that went there said it was more compartmentalized than anything they had ever seen in government. It was so nuts. And lots of private people, private corporations were involved. Lots of private corporations were involved. Okay, so I'm just telling you that the deal was they, they, uh, he had the he had he had the greatest collection of scientific minds you can possibly imagine to work on UFOs at MCC. Bob, look at the article I just sent you to your messenger. Okay. I dropped that in our chat too. It's like I, honestly, it's awesome. It's from 1986, and it's like, why is Bobby Inman so great? And it like runs through his like entire background. It's so impressive, and then what he did after he retired. Yep. And being the head of the CIA and the head of whatever okay. at the same time. Nicole, go back to the note page. Okay. I just wanted to give us. Can I ask Bob, can I ask Bob, did you guys ever hear that rumor about him doing back engineering on UFOs or is that something? No, no, that... no, no. What I'm telling you, the, the dates, the dates yeah, are yeah, what's yeah. critical. 1985, he founded MCC in Austin and yeah. he collected and assembled the greatest scientific technical group I've ever seen in my life. So oh. was he, um, pimping out what he already knew no no i'm telling you i don't i never heard him talk about okay. ufos in 1985 yeah. i didn't i didn't i did he I, he was somebody i worked for not somebody not i was friends with he's not gonna talk about something that classified no way awesome. okay major yeah. engineering project under but these Raymond. guys seem but Oak these guys seem to have heard it. the rumor. That's why they put it down. They, they he put to it on the, the paper. He headed up the paper like he was going to say more. But, and but he I'm, circled I, it. And I'm telling you, the people I know that went there, and now I'm talking about Nobel laureates and yeah. some of the greatest crypto mathematicians I've ever known in my well, life. They, we went to, they, went to, they, went to, they went to MCC yeah. and they said it was more compartmentalized than anything they had ever seen in government. Hey, wow. does this say MCC right there? Only scribbled out? Maybe. Zoom in. That's about as big as I It looks like M-A-T or M-T-T. I know, but when I scribble stuff, I make it look stupid. No, I don't think so. I, I can't make out what that is. No. Yeah. That's no. not. It looks like M and maybe C at the end. But that, oh, 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 no, 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 no. He, he, remember, Oak Shanna's not a technical guy. Yeah. And, uh, he was trying to write MCC and accidentally wrote MAC. Maybe. Could maybe. Be. Yeah. I'm telling you. this. Yeah. Or could really... that be an N? A E. No, no. Look at the leg. It has it has two legs yeah, on either it, side. You can see it's an M. It's an M and a something and a C. He's talking about MCC. I knew he was doing something weird down there. Or uh, maybe, 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 maybe that, but, yeah. but I could see how that might make sense. All right. he Listen, I, I hate it, but I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we'll we'll talk again about this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, when, when, whenever I just I can't do that because I haven't done well, my homework for. Here, here's what I'll do, Bob. 
Bob, I'll send you a copy of the notes and you can pick up something you, you think is really significant. People should uh, understand and we can maybe have a chat online. I'm happy to do it, Grant. Thank Anytime. you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Bob. Thank you, Bob. I'll have a good class. Yeah, yeah. we will. Yeah, yeah. We'll steal say, you. say hi to Simeon for us. Now, Grant, because I know Simeon, you do too. Um, Grant, um, there's a famous thing, and unfortunately, it's not coming to mind with knowing enough about it right now, where, where, a, where a UFO researcher had interviewed Bobby Ray Inman, and, and, it, and there was a discussion, or he was asked about. Yeah, yeah the, that was, that was Bob, Bob Exler. That was Bob 1988. Exler, yeah. Bob Exler, and he, and he was asking him about the reverse engineering. What did Inman say in response to that? Well, he said, I have, I've been out of it for a number of years, and I really, um, I'm, a, I'm out of the loop. I really don't know what's going on. Okay. And, he, and then, then they kept going, and but he asked about... It, didn't Exler ask him because he knew something about this or had heard about well, this? Well, that was what I, that's what I was asking, Bob. Did you, had you heard the rumor? Because the, if the rumor was in 1988 that Bobby Ray Inman was running MJ-12, that he was the head guy, he was the guy that was a major engineering project, was under Bobby Ray Inman, and that's why I think they wrote it down here. And that's why Bob Exler went to him and gave him his business card. Yeah. And he said, I'd like to talk to MJ-12. And then they arranged the phone conversation. And when it was all over, when the, he did discuss, you know, the, the, they had, they was doing stuff. And then when it broke, when the story broke, Bobby Raymond said they were talking about submarines. Oh. Yeah. And so, so this backs up Exler doing that research and that whole thing because here yeah, in 85 that's why i asked bob these hey, guys you heard were the rumor talking about in 85 yeah. had you heard the yeah because they, they somebody had heard the rumor and these guys seem to have heard the rumor too we can maybe find the the article with uh bob exler talking to there, there's actually audio tapes he, he taped everything yeah. so there there may it must be on the internet we can maybe put a link to, to but here's uh, a ding ding exler. ding ding yes hey. you know here's a yes to that tom question. went and consulted the wilson documents and the direct quote it says on the bottom of the page is ap-10 meetings it's well they're talking about this advanced yep. physics 10 meetings they're yep. talking about the right there you guys That's you beautiful. what we are showing you boom 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 <laughs> boom 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 there is the direct link to eric working group why he's there and they're talking about the ap-10 meetings and and oak it's all tied together right there and right i'm so glad oaks notes thank you thank you grant thank you grant thank you. oaks notes say and you did you and i didn't know this you hadn't looked down right. that closely to know no. that right there in his notes he's saying we're the atp 10 group the okay. ap group is is the other abbreviation ap ap aptwg a, the apg you know the the advanced physics 10 group there bam, you go. bam, bam. So we'll and have to he, we'll have to work on that. Melinda, send me your address. I'll send you a gold star for that. <laughs> no, I'm going to give you the gold star for <laughs> posting these because and 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 you you just you know sorry Dolan, but he just beat you to it, man. This right. is the relationship the right there. Star, that is dude. that is a smoking gun. Yeah, there you go. I agree. I agree. That's group pretty, had everything that's to do with that Wilson meeting. Boom, Let's boom, give boom. Oak a gold star just for being Oak. And Oak, Oak gets that's a pretty significant, Melinda. I have to public. admit, that is pretty significant. That's, that's huge. That's weird. a direct connection right there to Wilson Davis notes, right there. We're on there. Yeah, okay. Project. Bam, bam. I mean, the evidence, the chance of having that really and coming up with dude. that and backing up what it means in the Wilson Davis notes when that's said. And the I 18, will cycle 18, this back 18, through. 10. I'm going to cycle I mean, this back to Grant, though. And inviting Project Unity on his first disclosure discussion panel with the Wilson documents, which is when it was yes, discussed yes. about the page. Yes. And he went and found it online and yes. then tracked down Oak. And that's brilliant. Yes. I don't understand why every young gun wasn't trying to find Oak Shannon. I'm actually disappointed in myself. Well, some of them were. I think uh, well, people but, did talk to him, but he, yeah. but he wasn't U talking. UFO the Joe talked to him. I think is, UFO is, Joe went down to see yeah, him. No, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. But but the difference now is and and mm -hmm. and and think so. Jay Ando gets full credit. He went after this. He got the interview and he got him to switch his story and admit admit it. You know? Yeah, no, it was great. Great, 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 great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now what but now that, that right there up or down. everything we're doing today and everything we're saying with the release of these meeting notes 
from Jack and from Oak, right there, a direct on the nose connection to Wilson Davis. Okay. And it was Wilson Davis. Will that that right Wilson there? Shut up, Wilson it. Davis naysayers, right there. It was Wilson that mentioned it in the Wilson Davis notes. See? Yeah. Boom. Again, that shows you, Wilson Tom. has a connection to these guys. Bam. Tom, do you want the Bam. link? Do you want to come on? <laughs> Let me send you the link. <laughs> We're about we're to good. Wrap. We're good. We're good. I think I, I think we're good. That's I mean that the, the Inman stuff and that right there oh, makes these well, everything. You know, we've been singing praises here, but you know, Grant, you're going on spaced out radio tonight, and we need to sing some praises with spaced out radio. Thank you, Dave. Dave. Yay, Dave. Well, yeah. Linda, winner, you're Jimmy. following up with spaced out radio. You're gonna go. Are yeah, you I'm going gonna- next week on with Dave. That's just Beautiful. Dave, for the first time, talked about the Wilson Davis notes on Spaced Out Radio last night. So go there tune go. into that. Because I, I can't believe that these notes have a direct relation. I mean, they had a direct relationship because they're already Oak Shannon. So there's already a direct relationship. But to name the group that and to have Wilson bring that up in the Wilson Davis notes, to have him reference that, it's so obscure I mean, the evidence for the support of those is just, it blows my mind because it's so obscure. And the chance that you would have this backing that up, it's like the universe is just saying here, you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, just- and now, honestly, I don't think Wilson will ever make a public statement. He's saying he'll go. No, with- I, no, 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 that's not true. I, I heard from someone that talks to him. So I heard directly while at the MUFON symposium <clears throat> in Denver, someone who talks to, who's, who, who, had right. conversations brand new ones with wilson said wilson said he had been asked this is I'll, I'll quote this person wilson's been asked already by congress to publicly testify he has told them yes he said if he, he will do it if um they totally pass the um amnesty stuff which they did it's all passed it's in the ndaa that part's all done reconciled and everything it's just the rest of the unrelated ndaa stuff needs to happen and i'm hearing from danny sheehan that the word behind the scenes in dc is that because there are things in there that benefit the democrats that biden will likely sign the whole ndaa and again stuff unrelated to ufos you guys but sign the whole thing of which all this stuff is in he, and then the amnesty stuff and the and the reverse engineering stuff that the one senator really wants to know and the um and all that and the and the crash retrieval program it's all written up in there and all of that will get signed together by biden and again according to daniel sheehan it is likely the word the word on the street is it will likely happen before the november elections right but the big thing that's also being said is we're not getting more public hearing. No, yeah, it's we all are going to be. Closer. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. People have already. I'm hearing from all sorts yeah. of resources and highly qualified people to say this, that people have been already asked to testify. There will be public hearings. I heard Wilson said he will testify to a closed hearing with. No, amnesty. no, no. This is brand with new. Amnesty. This is brand new. He apparently recently said. If the amnesty thing, because he's already been asked, he's already told Congress, I will testify. And he says, if I will testify publicly, if the amnesty stuff passes, which it did. So I, I did want to remind everybody, Wilson was also told to shut up about it, to quit poking around, to stop looking in. He didn't, you know, stop. Back then. Yeah, that's what I mean. He was told back then when it all happened. Well, he didn't have he didn't have immunity then. With that. Yeah. He but he, but now he'll now he he can say this many years later and he's been given he's been given immunity. I I I have a feeling we're going to hear Eric Davis and Nolan and Wilson and all these people sing like freaking can- canaries. Okay. That's what I think. Let's scroll through cuz I got three I got three more hours tonight to do. So that's Okay, that's, okay, we got to move along so Grant can Just cuz he can though, doesn't mean that he will I mean, just like Grant could release the Oak notes, but he told Davis he wouldn't. So Grant was sticking to his word. Like Wilson could still just zip it because he said he would and always would. If he's been asked and he's told, if if, like I'm hearing, he's already been asked by Congress to testify. He's already told him he, he would. 
on, on, on you're with saying it. a new deal. Like I heard this within the last three days. So that's what I'm saying as well. Like what I've heard is really new. So okay, we'll okay. see well, who's right. Matter. It doesn't matter. Let's bet fifty dollars. Well, Let's bet fifty bucks. Okay. okay, fifty bucks. Put fifty bucks on. There will, but there will be public hearings. There will be. Yeah. Let's bet on that too. <laughs> okay. That's I mean, that's, you guys, the whole point. I talked to Danny about this. The whole point to them passing the amnesty yeah, thing. Uh, why is that there so they can have the public hearings? They had to go through all that and pass okay. that as law so they could have the hearings. Okay. So here, here's the uh, the mountain thing. Here's the the bases. Yeah. Zimbabwe. Go back, uh, go back. Scroll Nicole, up. Nicole, scroll, Nicole, up. Nicole, you, you, scroll up. You're trigger happy, girlfriend. Uh, there, there we go. There's yeah. Australia, Mount, Mount, whatever, Zeal in Australia, Zimbabwe, Spain, Alaska. That's the bases. That was the rumored bases. But you see at the top, uh, Dames. Perdido, Ed Dames. Yeah. Mount, so Ed Dames Mount may Perdido, have been putting Mount this United information United into, into the discussion. It That's may the, not be. It's just Ed Dames saying this. And he may have got it from whoever, from Pat Price or whoever. Or had his done viewers the, or, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So that's the basis. That's the four mountain bases that people believe there's a UFO base there. What's this say? Without Gulf. emotion and without. Gulf o San. No, oh, this one under okay. that. Without, without emotion. emotion. That's the aliens are without emotion. So maybe that's what it is. Oh, okay. Single purpose, humanoid. Types. But, so but here unknown. the types Single you purpose, get. purpose, but unknown. Humanoid. Yeah, this is what they got. This is what they got on the viewing. Without emotion. Single perp. That the ETs didn't have emotion. They had a single purpose, but that was unknown. That they were humanoid um, <coughs> types. Oh. RVP. Six thousand. Larger, huge. No Larger, reptilians. Huge. I think that says S and V types. Size and and t size and right here is where I'm looking. Yeah, size several, types, and several types, several types, SEV. Oh, several types, several yeah. types, several yeah. types. So uh, there's RPV, no reptilians there. Six thousand larger, huge. Six feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something. I yeah. Light beam associated with the base. Yeah, we went to uh, Bob. I think. Oh, here's Ed Dames again. I don't know if no, you want to. I, I wish Ed we're stuff. taking a little more time on some of these, but that's okay. That's all right. We don't have the time, so people can review these. They're they're up online now. And in the poll, did you include the link already? Yep. It'll okay. allow us to go through this again. And put the link not just under the live, yeah, chat thing, but also under under the video itself. I started posting it everywhere yesterday. Okay. 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 Um, and this this stuff we went through with with Jimmy with Jimmy Church. This is old stuff. This is you know the speed of light and the Drake equation, and they have to one way trips. They're going to you know go take you know many generations to get here and stuff. This is old stuff that that they were you okay. know, and and then they talk about the Fermi paradox. Why are they not here? Sure. The, they're just giving this ET, well, but it's really not as bad. Remember as there, remember that bullet point though from the other notes that said their their plan was to develop new physics, right? So does any of this translate into what we're seeing in the new physics world right now? With like not this page. This page is just this, simply this page, who's who's giving this talk right now on this page? Did it uh, say go, at the top? Go up, it I is? don't know. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, it's that uh, guy from uh, Don, uh, Don from, from 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 Lockheed. Keeble. But it's, I think but it's, it's the -E basic U M B L. I think you know it's, it's the whole thing. How many? It's, but maybe K E U B L E. Kem Kembo, yeah, because it's it's in the beginning. It's in the names. Okay. And Don, he's from Lockheed, but okay. but but you you see this. Is the basic that was stuff. his name. How many civilizations are there? On my pages too. You know, how many civilizations uh, will they colonize galaxy, you know, colonize and stuff. This is old stuff. Lifetime. Right. Of like ancient. when you say trying but, to. But you guys scroll galaxy. down. There was a point at the bottom that was that was interesting. Now, their views could have changed this. But in 85, they thought this, which was keep going. Yeah, it's my turn. When they're talking about colonizing, though, like, I mean, we're talking about colonizing the moon now and Mars yeah. now. So does any of that translate to our space push now like 
Well, that, that's that's their their view is just uh, extrapolating no, stop, on that. Stop, we go stop, to the moon. Stop, stop, they they want to come to other planets, and that's what they're doing. They're exploring space and stuff. But when you start looking at the experiences now, they don't. Uh, the aliens aren't saying, "Well, you know, we're here to figure out we're we're stupid. We, we're trying to gather plants and stuff." They're basically talking about the fact they're here is because nuclear weapons and we're destroying the world, and people need to get their psychic abilities, and they're teaching us stuff. And it the, the idea of why they're here and what's going on. And how they get here is completely different than this. This yeah, is sort yeah. of like the one-way trips. And- well, and these guys is used in 85 and where these guys are now with this could be oh, yeah, very exactly. different. So, but it but- says here, like, for instance, travel practical, meaning the ETs, probability high, but why no contact, you know? Uh, okay, and then it says we are being ignored. Uh, it's hybrid, a, yeah. yeah, ignored, hybrid, and discreetly watched. That's yeah, these very are theories. Interesting. Yeah, theories. Yeah, the theories. And then, and then needs, desires this is of a good ET. One. Needs of desires of ET. This is why I had her stop. Was to say it says capital labor. Labor. That's weird. Capital labor, no mass abductions. So, in other words, they're capitalizing on labor. I guess yeah, that's is what they're theorizing. No that's mass like a Western, abductions. Western model. We're going to get cheap, cheap But it labor, says right? no mass abductions. But then in parentheses after that, it says not likely. So they're saying it. Do they mean it's not likely there's no mass abductions? No, I, or no, I think it, it's. Remember it, I, this. This goes back to when they were taught, like maybe the biblical comment when they were like, yeah. "Forth the history of the biblical stuff no. or verify." No, and I mean, I, your stuff about enslaving humans to help them build whatever. Yeah. Is- well, to get the gold stuff, but I, but what I'm saying is this is also in the Wilson document. It but says you guys do know everyone out there. There are definitely mass abductions, and these guys know that well now. Okay, I mean, well, I hang on. I will, I will, I will take, I will take objection to that because it, it's in the Wilson document as well. It says no yeah. abductions. Then I went and I looked at all the people inside NIDS yeah. and what their opinion was. Jack Valet says absolutely. Well, then why not. are they funding all these abduction research projects? They, there's an event the going on. There's mass yes, experiences. There, but there's an event going mass. on. Nobody's there's denying the event. Stuff. It's like John. No, Wheeler no, no, says, no. I can tell you from their paying for abduction research studies and them coming back and say that, you know, three and a half million, pe- three and a half million, three point five million people in the continental U.S. alone are having abductions. That was the research study these guys paid for. Are, are so having, you're going, you know what? And then and that said had abductions. When you go into all the accounts of how they know someone's having a physical abduction in the personal experiences book, which is the book that they published from the Bigelow res- results for having it paid. Well, actually, I guess maybe the, yeah, Bigelow paid for to have the book released. That book was based upon the findings of, of the um, um, study project they did, yeah. you know, with the Roper poll. So they, they tacked on questions with the okay. Roper poll that were questions unique to the abduction experience. So okay. they knew that physical abductions were happening, that they knew that the okay. most common indicators and they tacked on those indicating questions and came back with 3.5 million people okay and then they also bought the mufon transcription abduction transcription project okay. stuff so don't tell me these guys don't have an interest in abductees they have a profound abs- interest and always have the okay now what are the objection the 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 objection i would have to that and what i'm pointing out here is here they say no mass abductions and when i look back you look in the, it, it says the same thing in the Wilson leak. So why did Wilson, so people say, oh, well, he's. But, okay, but that's, okay, maybe. There's no abductions. And Kit Green says no abductions ever. Uh, uh, Edgar Mitchell says there was, there's no, there's but an event. I t- but let's see that, there's something amiss here because these guys have a track record. I do an entire two and a half hour presentation. Not Edgar about Mitchell, this. not, not the, Edgar Mitchell. No, the, no, these, the working group guys have an, have an extensive involvement with abductees, abduction with the research experience. Projects. They go and they stop and they stay for two and three weeks at abductees homes, investigating them, looking at their physical evidence. I know like 20 people I that know. have had some of these members staying in their home, investigating yeah, their case. I, I, I know I, I was, okay. I'm not denying there's an event. I was like their involvement with Bledsoe. That's well, case in point. Okay, comments from the peanut gallery here real quick. Our our friend in the chat room named Toby is saying mass or maybe mass meaning millions of people gone missing at once to be the labor slaves. 
Not likely. Maybe, maybe that's what they that was, maybe, that, yeah. the idea. maybe that's okay. what Oak is writing here. That's let, a very good are having point. this back and forth, and I have this back and forth in groups almost weekly, where obviously there needs to be a new narrative that there are two different kinds of abductions. There are physical abductions and there are consciousness based experience abductions. Both may be group or no, but but these guys is other like i mean we I, are I hear you nicole but they're the, the working group's interest when in abductees the, the the working group's interest in abductees which is randy's in my 30 years of history and and personally interviewing these abductees that these guys are involved in i can tell you these guys have had a direct personal involvement in the physical extraterrestrial abduction okay let, let me interested. okay let me point out one more thing and then we'll we'll move on uh, I'm saying that when you get to the nature of reality, there is no time, there is no space. It's all in the mind. It's everything is as Deepak Chopra says, everything is an activity inside yes, consciousness. Yes. That will be the new thing. There is yes. no physical world. It is all happening inside the mind. And let me give you my example. Uh, the guy who dropped the Wilson leak document was um, Chase Williams. Chase Williams, I was doing the experiment with um, psilocybin. He was doing experiment with DMT and he phoned me up the one time and he said, guess what? I had an abduction experience yesterday on DMT. I said, really? Like a real, he said, it was as real as real could be. I was on a table. The beings were, were I could, couldn't see their heads, but I could see their arms. Uh, and I was, they were working on my head. They were, they were working on something inside my head. And he said, it was as real as real can be. And 25% of all people who've done DMT will have the abduction experience. Now, the question is, is that person being physically abducted or are they lying on a couch doing 10 minutes of DMT? The world is changing. My only point is the world is changing. There is no physical world. It's all happening inside consciousness. When you have an out-of-body experience and you look back at your body, your body is inside your consciousness. So there is an event. There is an abduction event. But what I'm saying, it's going to turn out to be much more complex. And that may be why these guys keep saying there's no there's no abductions. They're, they're, they know this higher level thing. They know the psi event. They know this maybe, consciousness maybe, thing. Maybe, right. maybe. Yeah. So let's I go on. Give that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that grant. That might, it's very possible. Possible. And you're also saying, what is, you know, Oaks writing these in 85? What, where was Oaks' belief in 85? Exactly. Because yeah. we know he's become extremely religious. Let's talk about where, how far we've advanced in um, psychology and mental health in the last 30 years as well. Like, yeah. we, it is known that you can have, worry yourself so much that you will physically manifest hives, you know, and situations like that. So, I mean, that does play into this equation. Are you having a mass consciousness experience and it's so overwhelming to your consciousness being that it manifests physically in yeah. marks? Yeah, I that's... say this because the triangle mark grant that showed up in my backyard, I freaked yeah. out. It felt like four seconds had passed yeah, and yeah. I have this mark on my arm jump up, run to see where my son's at, you know, and it's like, how did that get there? It was not there. It's a physical mark. And I literally felt like I tuned out for a second. Did, did, did we put that in the book? You and I wrote a book on triangles. Did, is that in the book? I think we did include it, or maybe we included it post in some, you know, Facebook posts and stuff like that, but it was just so trippy. And it was it was so coinciding with all the triangle research. We were laughing that it was synchronistic, you know, and it was like, okay. well, why did I get the mark? All this triangle stuff is on my mind constantly. But then after the mark, St. Louis had a black triangle mass sighting where like 30 people saw it over St. Louis, which yeah. is 50 miles away from me. So I don't know. Or Biddy Andreas and has the whole experience where she to me like. Yeah. yeah, that's why implants are fascinating to me. So could you mentally manifest some other thing in your body? Like, or what are those things that look like fiber that people are like pulling out of their skin now? And nobody can explain what this weird thing is. Somebody look up that name of that okay. for me. If they um, uh, I'll, I know what I'm thinking of in just a second okay. here. I'm just pulling right. it up. Right. I, exactly I mean, it it's is. just crazy. Some of this. Or okay. Gallon's Let's, crazy disease. Good. Let's scroll like, down. We've, we've Nicole, hit the Nicole, can you hear me? Nicole, no, I'm disease. both of you now. <laughs> Nicole, can you Let's hear me? Nicole, yes, I can. It's hear called it. Morgellons disease. 
Now, this yeah. is interesting. Number 11, he said, where is everybody? That backs up what you were suggesting, Nicole, that he was talking about or whoever said something in the in the comments that you just read, where that backs up what they were just suggesting that maybe he's talking about mass abductions where big groups of people have gone missing throughout yeah. history yeah. and not alien related because well, because now, because David the fact Gilati. that he says, where is everybody? No, my, my, my interpretation of that is it's called the Fermi paradox. And in the 1940s, Fermi said, if there is extraterrestrial life, where is everybody? Right. Oh, okay. That's what they're referring to. Where is okay. everybody? Okay, you might, yep, you might be right. Fermi paradox. Right. The the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, okay, this, this next page is interesting. And then we should maybe shut her down. Because um, we can do this again. But yeah. um, th this is the one with the, uh, the, the people talking. So they're having a conversation here. And and this uh, um, near the Mike Neary, this Lieutenant Colonel talks about photos of a UFO against a rotating star background. He showed them to people. Nobody was interested. So he stored them in the bottom safe drawer of his of his office. And when he left, when he cleaned out to transfer, the photos were gone. He said only his boss and his secretary had the keys to the safe or the safe combo. So he put these UFO photographs in his in his safe. And then when he was trying, when he's transferred out, he goes to get the UFO photographs and they're gone. And then mm -hmm. uh, Speakman tells the story. Are we to, are we led to a conclusion that a, there is an organization that exists which sucks up all this material into a box so this all these ufo photographs that's a, saying, that's a it, great quote by the way and and, and then that's a, other, that's a usable quote and and then then the next guy says to him i think you can believe that yeah so they're having this conversation then yeah. hal povenmeyer to uh hal, hal mcconnell the guy from ns nsa scroll down he oh, said he knew an associate he, he he was associated with a man who got out of the Air Force and joined an organization which collected and burned such items, and referring to these UFO photographs. Um, special officer briefed on a large object which shot down next to a silo tanker. Uh, not, uh, uh, aircraft saw nothing. So they, he's just referring to a case. So they're just talking about cases and stuff. They're talking back and forth. Personal interest item only. I've encountered. I've encountered not stacks of UFOs, Wilkinson. Uh, then Tyler tells two stories about uh, the South Pole, whatever that's about. Ed Dames, astronomy reports on. Nope, nope, too big. <laughs> oh, but Astro just scroll, just scroll. Yeah. Just hang on. As okay. Astronomy reports on. United Kingdom out monthly. Or unknown. Either means unknown or uh, unknown. Uh, out monthly. Put off gave John uh, Kink pamphlet on the subject. They talk about the Hill abduction, very consistent Looks information like John on Quick, origin -K, type, John, sites, and sequencing. Or, or John, the RWK pamphlet on abduction. Looks like it says either KWK or R. R, looks like it's RWK because the R's are different than the K. So RWK pamphlet on a subject. Huh. Hill okay. abduction case that Betty and Barney Hill obviously case is very consistent info. Yeah. On origin, now, yeah. So they're, they're talking, talking about origin with the Hill case. Are they talking about Betty's star charts or star map that she? No, could... just very consistent with other reports of like the yeah. abduction reports oh, that yeah. it's consistent. And the origin might be talking about the location. With I the would types. pull that out. And here's Ed Dames. Um, Animal mutations, psychic, psychic farmers. Yeah. What's corroborated full story. Oh, full. I think. Or well, unless yeah. it's FOL well, when story, it's Ed Dames, I don't know what the Ed Dames stuff mean. Well, he's there. You know, he he was there giving presentations, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Reaching materials. Okay, scroll down because we got to get to this thing where they they go to get the money and stuff. The, 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 this is the what's, that, what's, what's it say about Jack out there? Hang on, I this, seen this that. is materials. So this we had this before. Yeah. This oh, materials Jack recovered material. materials. Then they had now, angel okay. hair samples, which I've always pointed out. Angel hair happened in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, the, the intelligence behind the phenomena has moved on. They don't do angel hair anymore. That's Scroll down a little. There's metal slivers. Now, one Grant, by one millimeter you, shavings. Yeah. Grant, do you compare angel hair to like the ectoplasm? That no. Angel hair was like, it looked like spider web. It, it was yeah. described as spider web type stuff. It was you hanging. You that real like lacy looking stuff that you yeah. would 
come out of physical mediumships like or medium no no it was more like no it was more, no it, no, that's was, ectoplasm. That's not that's not what angel yeah, hair angel is. Angel hair, you could sort of see through it. It was white. It was uh, it had like you could actually see the fibers and stuff. And, and it, it was coming down from the sky. It would disintegrate. It would hang off yeah. the trees and stuff. And the UFO would drop this stuff. It hasn't happened for 40 years. It has not been. Right. And so they've gone on to a different thing. The Brazilian thing. This is the one where I talked to Bob, where they've got the two samples. This is this one that exploded on the coast where it's coming down and it explodes into a million pieces. And they have all sorts of stuff. And the one piece, according to Nolan, um, it's from the same crash. And one has the, uh, the isotopes messed up and the other one is normal. From the same that, that's metal. from the phenomenon too where valet is mentioning that if they could get more pieces from the same known thing it was better for gary to be able to test it so he he kind of alluded that they had multiple pieces from this brazilian yeah, yeah there was a lot of pieces recovered yeah i like that okay let's move on i can't believe that that this Bobby, backs up this? that ap10 yeah, that's that's still, I'm still thinking about that. I, 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 my, my brain, I know, my brain the, is... The Cuban, in, uh, the Cuban Intercept, um, um, Isaac Coy, I gave him all the files from Staten Friedman, the 6,000 pages. Um, the Cuban cases, now I'm not sure if these put Staten Friedman stuff online, but the whole Cuban file is there. It tells a little story about uh, two U, a UFO coming in over Cuba, and they lock on to shoot this thing down, and the front plane disintegrates, and U.S. Navy intelligence is picking this thing up from Florida, and they pick up the wingman in behind, and he's yelling and screaming, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, and, and the, the thing just disintegrates, and this is all recorded, and uh, the UFO people try to force this thing out, and the FBI come and basically scare the living daylights out of the main guy and they sort of drop it but stanton had it there was an foa file it's pretty mad it's pretty file. killer that these guys in 85 were talking about all these things like there was yeah. common knowledge amongst them you know it's well it is amazing. it leaked to stanton friedman they filed an foia on it in six well it happened in 67 i think it was in the 70s where stanton was trying to get get this thing and, and the files in stanton actually has the guy who who reported to stanton and uh, he's, he, you can see the guy's name and he tells the whole story of what, what he heard and stuff. So let's go on. Cuban, the Cuban thing is, is there's a file in the Cuban, in the Staten Friedman file on this. Okay, next. Hi, Linda Thompson in the chat room. And she says, Hi, Linda Thompson. She says she has a report on angel hair. There you so, go. For what year? I'm sure, she does. Yeah, what year? Or is it just like a giant file report of all angels? Probably something more recent if she's on it. Because she's does so she's a move on investigation. Kirkland, so I think this may be Richard something. Doty's report, a report Richard Doty made. It says yep. uh, many mistakes in the report. Don't take it too seriously. I, Rich, I'm going to ask you about this one, Rick. <laughs> there you go. Sending it out there. He's laughing right now, calling Kirk. me a nerd. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. That'll be on our part two update. Bob Wood, he's talking about, I talked about this last night, the Bob Wood uh, thing where I got the files and Bob Wood was upset that I put the files up. They, it, McDonald Douglas did a, a study in 1967 uh, and they spent half a million dollars and they did the same thing. They regressed, uh, you know, experiencers and they uh, tried to get reports and stuff. And then they, it was basically shut down, but they, this report went on, Stanton Friedman was hired and, uh, they kept it all secret until the guy that was doing the regressions died, left the files in a barn, and the, the, the guy that found them sold them on eBay for 29 bucks, and then they gave them to me. Awesome. Hey, Tom throws in that research Robert Todd was visited about the Cuban yeah. thing by the FBI. Yeah, scared of living daylights. He said, Todd had said to NSA, he said, you either give us the files on Wait, the Cuban- Wait, stop, interview abductees, go back, what's that? Hang on, I want to finish the story. Yeah. Uh, he, Todd said to the NSA, he said, he, he sent him a letter and he said, you either give us uh, the files from the Cuban thing or we're going to the Cuban embassy. And that afternoon he was visited by two FBI agents who scared the living daylights out of him. Okay, can you scroll down a little? I just thought interview abductees thing got my- uh, it says interview abductees, Co coherent, coherent study. story. Yeah, co coherent story. Uh, story small yeah. UFO ground person. So they're talking about somebody's case. Described instruments. 
got bigger. Right. Oh, they're down. talking about that size difference thing, Grant. Yeah. Here, that's yeah, that's yeah. that's what I said was significant in '85. That's what what I've got. I'm reporting now in this new book is people describe that the inside of the UFO is is way bigger than the outside, and that the the beings say they can make the inside as big as they want. In fact, the first woman that uh, that I talked to said that they had UFOs the size of solar systems. Here, yeah. I'll just read this real quick. It says coherent story: small UFO on the ground, person in o coveralls meaning a beam, and it says mist came up, ramp came down, and she was inside described instruments. It got bigger or she got smaller. Yeah. If yeah. you did it again now, pick six, six something to chase, three OS and three something oh, yes. S establishment, ensure ex exposure are, are unique. unique experiences are unique yep. and then experiences. this next one i like because it says perceptual it's, it's change, perceptual change or physical change or dimensional change yeah. one meter diameter disc in a depression emit a blue puff of smoke and grow re something repeat 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 yeah, that dimensional change, that's what Jacques um, Hell put off had said publicly. He would like to know how the craft can be bigger on the inside than outside. That was one of the mysteries that he was really interested in trying to solve. And I've heard that even recovered craft on the ground, when they go inside, it's bigger on the inside than it I've is. I've experienced the inside. that significantly wow. in, in some of my own experiences. The time yeah. when I was taken with Steve and Mike, we've been really public about that. That yeah. craft was much smaller on the outside. We go inside, it's much bigger. Yeah, it's I, almost that's, like that's could, so common in abductions, you guys. It's that, so that's, common. I that's think almost every like you could be you could be walking down the road. Has experienced it. Yeah, that's it's like you could be common. walking down a road and there's a rock on the side of the road, and if you went inside, there was a whole civilization in there. Right. <laughs> Fine. Well, Grant, do you remember from the vaulted interview that I have your first interview with me? And I described my I walked into a building and when I it, a small shack building and when I go inside, it's like an amphitheater. It's huge. There, there you go. When are we putting this interview out? On our five year anniversary. Oh, OK. OK. <laughs> so let's go to this for Oak Bridge because uh, Woodbridge, because uh, we just do the last thing which Jimmy Church brought up. And this was this idea. And did the, this may have been John Alexander. You probably heard Melinda that John Alexander was involved with. With, I, uh, I'm the one who kind of half broke that because um, of Alexander uh, calling and knowing. And I, I, I learned that from um, um, Colonel Halt um, when he when he, uh, you know, it, it was just within a few days after the incident, within 10 days or less. I forget. I have it in notes. Colonel Halt told me this directly because I had given a Milab lecture where I'd mentioned Alexander and so he and it was at a conference for Victoria Jack in the Bay Area and he comes up to me so Bay Area UFO Expo and he comes up to me and he says hey um uh because he was another speaker there and he says uh I gotta tell you something about John Alexander um you're absolutely right what you're saying about him having knowledge and he said he said he had called the base um and talked to Colonel Halt just a few days after, knew everything about the incident. And Colonel Halt thought I was being tested to see if I would leak anything. And he said, John Alexander knew, eh, Colonel Alexander at the time knew everything about it. And he said, I, I ended up saying, and, and, you know, so that was in 80, right? 1980 or 81, 80, 80, right? Okay. So he said he knew everything about it, all the details. And he said, I considered that I was probably being tested. And I said, I don't know who the hell you are. I can't talk to you, you know, and wouldn't tell him, wouldn't talk to him. But he said he knew everything about it. He had been fully versed in every part, including abductions happen as part of that case, including that. And so here's Colonel Halt telling me, including the abduction stuff, Alexander knew all of it. And Halt said, I wouldn't say anything to him. Yeah. And, and so that that's was days it. later. Yeah. And so the significant thing related to that, if John is the one that's making this report, they refer to the last line, film made and flown to Germany. That, yeah. uh, this is this rumored story that it was all caught on film and it went to, to Germany. Okay, this is where I'm going to butt in a little bit because I love uh -huh. Rendlesham Forest and I've talked with Jim and Gary and briefly Burroughs. 
The section in here where they talk about small people like children, three floated out. Garbage, garbage, garbage now, because that's Larry Warren's narrative in this. But if you read Peniston- But and I know Larry okay, and have interviewed finish. him extensively. Let me, let me finish. If you read Jim Peniston and Gary Osborne's book, and they're massive cliff notes that go along with the book, there was OSI investigating around the base, in and out, all over this time. And not yes. just Rick Doty, but coinciding cases. So yes. it doesn't have to necessarily be John Alexander. No, but no, Colonel Holt was telling me John called him and right. it was a long phone conversation with Alexander. Yeah. I think there was a lot of action going on with this case, whether it was direct or indirect. Oh, tons. Oh, I know. I know a guy who yeah. flew one of the CIA flights in there with the guys to interrogate and scare the crap out of these guys. And and I've actually interviewed it's someone that Lorianne knows quite well. We've actually interviewed that guy but what's great about this is at the bottom this film made and flown to germany yeah hey yeah, very interesting germany get on that <laughs> we and got i gotta talk to lorianne and say look we, we we knew about the flights did this come up in that interview and i'm forgetting it so i gotta ask her about that because we might have something else on that right and then if, if she knows about it note here off to the side in parentheses it says not solid like are they talking about the sphere of influence or are they talking about the light beams that were actually like supporting the craft because whatever those light beams were it wasn't landing gear the way Penniston describes it but whatever those beams of light were did leave the tripod in you know yeah, that yeah. in the dirt. Yeah. Mold. When you guys remember, there's like it, it gets confusing because there's actually three different incidences. The first night, second, third, you know, there's right. three different and incidences of craft and craft landing. And so you got to separate out one from another, which incident. And 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 one of those incidences is an account by Larry where I think he's telling the truth. I mean, Larry no. was there. He's no, not no, 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 not on my channel. Not on my channel. Don't he's like <laughs> Okay, he's not shit. completely no, full of Peter shit. Robbins pulled his book because Larry Warren is such a fraud. Sasha Christie out of him and in an No, not but contract. not that he not no. that he wasn't there completely. No, he he, I don't everything. know. He faked a lie detector test. Fake 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 fake. He's too okay. fake. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Fake. That's a good one. You know, we'll, we'll have to have highlights. We'll have the highlights from this thing. Now, Look, honestly, he's like Voldemort. I don't think anybody should mention his name for the end of time. He bullies <laughs> people. He threatens Sasha Christie's children. Like, no, he's a scumbag. And okay, I don't okay, say okay, that okay. about stop, stop, anybody stop, 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 in stop, ufology. Stop, stop. I'm he's just saying scumbag. back over the years, I interviewed him extensively. Good. I'm sure he lied to you too, Melinda. <laughs> like, No. No, like anywhere else, I won't say this crap, but on my own YouTube, I will because no. Yeah. Okay. Cash Landrum. Let's skip Cash Landrum because that's yeah, I love another big frauds. controversy. <laughs> they had a lot to input. Here, this directions here. So you Cash have Cash Landrum has controversy, Grant? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> no. Here, do you want to oh, say? Oh, yeah, that? sure. I no, mean, Cash like Landrum's a big deal with oh yeah but it case. was like is it alien or was it american 23 helicopters and they said that there was no helicopter hey there he is happy we're, birthday buddy happy birthday <laughs> we were escorting you know something he, that probably wasn't to protect ours. his mother he heard his mother getting grant and cash lander don't you think uh, i'd have to read through the notes here to see what these guys were saying but it, it they were escorting something that probably wasn't ours well, but, the, but John denies and everybody denies there was helicopters. And so the game was, yeah, the thing there was, was there helicopters? Was there not helicopters? Yeah, there were. Yeah, there I, was. I'll but, believe uh, the did, witnesses over these guys. Shit, man, any day. But but they did the investigation and they said they, they checked and there was no helicopters coming out of bases and stuff like that. Well, so just because you don't know about them, they, they were, you know, they're black ops ones escorting something. You're, but there's no reason why okay, you'd find but, any data on as that. As I said to Jimmy Jimmy Church last night, that's just guessing. There, there's no solid evidence. So well, did I'll the, go with did, the witnesses being absolute. Well, about yeah, it. but the witnesses could be describing helicopters that are that are uh created by the intelligence flying the craft and it was all a big show. Uh, that they, they no, 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 no. 
Okay. Yeah, well, okay. sure. Whatever, whatever. I disagree yeah. with you, but that's I'm just saying it's very controversial. I don't think there's any denial that that cash item is very controversial as to people having opinions as to what actually happened there. There was it's like the abduction thing. There absolutely was an event. They saw 23 helicopters and they saw a UFO. The, nobody's denying that. The question is, what were they actually seeing? And that's where the controversy gets wild, where everybody's got a different opinions as to what actually happened. Okay, this, so they have to gather gather the data, the research and development hardware, and the uh, contacts. So they're in their organization. And uh, the thing this interested me, if you scroll down on just a little bit, the plan, because um, John always talked about the fact they were trying to get money. So they were going to all the three-letter agencies and stuff. And you see Get Authority here. And you see a Keyworth, who was the science advisor to Reagan. Excuse and it says... Scroll. I can't see it, Nicole. I don't know if Nicole is there. She may be... Out to I'm talk here now. <laughs> I'm scrolling. Okay, Scroll thank you, thank just you. a little bit because it's get authority. So they're trying to get authority for this project that they're trying to run. And Keyworth was the science, yeah, yeah, science, science advisor to President Reagan. And it says no. Admiral Poindexter was the national security advisor to Reagan. And it says no. P is president. No. Vice president. V, VP is no. Uh, then Dr. Cooper. I don't know who that is. No. And then this Dr. Uh, K-E-R-R, who was in the meeting. Don, it says Don that, Kerr. Don Kerr. Kerr. So, so it says maybe. I think it says Don Kerr. Maybe. Yeah, Don Kerr. But he's he's listed in the in the members of the uh, the 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 yeah on, on the on the list of the the people people and, present. Yeah. And so they were trying to like you can see they went to to S S D I and John Alexander actually tells that story where he goes to the head of S D I and he and he says I'm with you on this but he said I can't possibly give you any money because they're already after my budget and if i touch ufos i will lose not only that part of my budget i will lose my entire budget get out of my office so he, he throws them out and that was the head of sdi so nobody would touch the project they went to darpa cia these are all the places they went and they just couldn't get any money from from anybody to fund this project no money nobody's got any money <laughs> Well, they wouldn't touch it. The thing was, they just nobody wanted to touch the UFO subject. Now it's different. Is now it's the hot item in Washington. Yeah. Everybody wants to be involved. But in those days, it was get out of my office. Well, it they, took you know younger people who grew up with the information, sci-fi, the TV show, the movies, to get into places of power that you know that that start to ask these hard questions and and already distrust the government i you know yeah. i mean that's one thing about gallagher he's not he's not an old guy he's a young guy yeah. you know so here's the who's the authority so they have high enough money and mindset so i'm not sure the person has to be high enough they have to have money and they have to have the, pro the proper right mindset, mindset. Well, they found, well, a couple of years later they found someone or right at yeah. this is 85 so right at this time within probably years or less they found that person and that person was robert bigelow <laughs> yeah yeah that's right okay so let's scroll down i don't think he's mentioned in these no it wouldn't be because it's too early he didn't get it's too early yeah till, yeah till 89 he got involved with the lazar thing okay scroll down scroll a little down girl you're right 89 so four years later they start getting money you bet the scroll down girl is gone again I say no prior to 89. Actually, apologizing for yeah, no, you're about right about 89. Rendlesham Forest. <laughs> it, leave it alone, leave it alone. Actions charter, uh, SDI, DARPA, the contact points. So, again, influences money, uh, Los Alamos Labs, AFOSI. You can ask Dodi about that. Uh, <laughs> F, F for foreign technology Forest. division, NASA. Uh, Army intelligence is this last one here, yeah. so they're they're looking uh, all these different agencies, whether it's money or influence. I think, yeah, money. It has money there. They're trying to get money, influence and money. It has a little plus sign. Yeah, yeah, influence Proof. and money. Minimum. Let's not say above Lanel though. Is that their initials? It says JR and something. Yeah, it looks like it says OS and JC. Something like that. I don't know. It looks like it says OSJC. Yeah. Okay. Oak Shannon and. Oh, yeah. There you go. Who's oh, that's right. Coming? The people in attendance. Oak Shannon and the other Is it guy. Jack? So they're yeah. telling. That, so, so they're signing for them to go. Maybe like, that was the guy. Remember, remember uh, Oak Shannon said he had a guy working with him on a 
on a project there on fifth dimensional physics. Threat analysis. Right. That's right. Back in Project Unity's interview. Uh, public media, nah. In depth case, nah. Immediate case, no. Nah. Proof. Proof. Minimum. Photos. Hey, again in 60 days. Okay. So, what they wanted for proof was two sources photos and witnesses. Ron's box results. What text? Ron's box. Where yeah. are you at? In minimum in proof. They're looking okay, for the proof. Yeah. So they have two sources, photos and witness, and Ron's box results. S I T K. Well, Ron, Ron probably means Blackburn. He's at the meeting. So oh yeah, it could be. Letter Ron's mm -hmm. box results. So, so you ask if he's talked to Ron, ask him what the what the, his box results were. In the page above, they were talking about does everybody have like the the case in their bottom of their box or kept in their file that they don't know what to do about. Yeah. Maybe he was tasked to kind of. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Ron may have some good cases that, uh, yeah. yeah, that he, that well, he the definitely, I know that because we've talked about some, uh, we've talked yeah. about someone back when I was being developed strategy, John and I also John and Oak Shannon look into to uh, WTO look. WTO approaching, look, yeah, W. I think it's WTO. Oh, look, Don, w, Don Kerr look, WTO for influence money. No, yeah, into, remember you're right, no, you're right. It's into INTO. Look into approaching Don Kerr. Oh, there you go. So it says look into approaching Don Kerr for influence, influence and money. Remember money. Don Kerr was the one, the VP and the president and, and the science advisor all said, no, yeah. no, 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 no. And then it was Don Kerr, maybe. So they were going to approach him yeah, for so money. The, and so John, John and, and Oak are supposed to so look Don into Kerr approaching is the guy Don that Kerr. Kerr for Don Kerr, everybody's money. got to look at. Who's this Don Kerr guy? It's I think like, I looked at they were going to go to, they were, him and Oak and John were going to talk to him. What did it say right under that? I'm sorry, I missed something. It's like you guys are sharing a hive mind. It says contact, contact Lynn. Yeah. But you'll, but boots. Yeah. B Book holes. Book holes. Book holes. So Don, boxes. Don Kerr, I think I have down as the deputy director of intelligence, CENTCOM. Ooh. But people can look it up. They'll probably get a lot of stuff on Don Kerr. Gold stars everywhere. McConnell yeah. brief. Oh, yeah. McConnell. This would be interesting. Uh, USSR do you. credentials on him. Topic and oh, that's the 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 the, the thing the forest got knocked down in, in Siberia. They're talking about that yeah. event. Hold yeah, on. Gaska. What's that first line where it says Philip Ziegel arrow USSR do cert on him exclamation point topic plus Tunguska event. No, Tunguska that, event. That's, that's the, the meteor one. that took down the forest in in us in they, that may be what they're talking about that oh, case. Okay. And he Philip is the investigator. That said, yeah. nineteen eleven or twenty or whatever. It's 1978 yeah. National See, Enquirer. The rest of this sounds like they're looking at Russian oh, stuff. The 78 was that the, the, near that may be the, the case with the kids, the kids that saw the aliens in the in the park. What's this right here that's scribbled out? You like to scribble that stuff. I do, because that's what you're like. No, no, no. Don't let anybody see that ever. It looks like a name, honestly. So I S H A S H A. And then that top one looks like I Z something Z N. That's the code that they put in to get into uh, that you got to put when you're going on the internet for the to make sure you're not a robot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Show me all the pictures of the horse. Like <laughs> okay, let's move down. There's something at the bottom of the page that I want to go. There, there's some reports. They're referring to some reports there. But it says look for this and this big thing circled. Re issue. Yeah, it's a report. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a government report. D D T G. It's there got it a is. number. There's your fun part that you've snapped and put. Meanwhile, up. if you're looking at this in here, buried in here, are things to do. Free of Information Act requests on buried in this. Yeah, there'll be lots of people looking at these names because some of them are new. That Greeny, I, if you're that, if you're that looking that at aren't, this, aren't around. There, there's a bunch of things on that page. There's code things you could you should be doing. Here at the bottom on. of the, the bottom of the page is mind control. Well, that says Emmy attendees, me. Yep, that's Oak. That says attendees, Emmy, me. Oak. So that's Oak. And it says L, L, A, N, L, you know. 
National Los, Labs, Los, Los, Los yeah. Angeles National okay. Labs. So he's this is his list. This is the list of yeah, people. He's just, uh, this people. is what this is what James Anderson posted to Oak and showed him at the end of Project Unity. Yeah, That's and he said, said, "Yeah, that me, me would probably be me." Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The bottom, let's go over Yay! the bottom thing. Mind control. Isra Israeli book about Soviets working, uh, being far ahead of us, but the Israeli is ahead of them. So the the Americans are behind the Israelis and the Russians. In but mind the, control and parapsychology, the Israelis Israeli are, is leading the pack. The Israeli has the best. Yeah, Israeli is Israeli Russia than us. Yeah. Yeah. So the mind control. There's a and, lot, and, and it says parapsychology after that. So that's just a support. Yeah. Let's go do we have contacted security possible tasks here we go stir the database the detectors this is all the detectors and the yeah, databases this is this, is, this see this so much of this matches jack's notes higher so. rv higher remote viewers yeah who were who would they have hired is that well, the guys at the time swan and yeah those guys, the guys the and all, all the regular yeah. guys yeah. around the Bring 80s. Them back in. that's my guess yeah Develop theories. Who are the coordinate Tesla work? So they were they were interested in Tesla. Yeah, yeah. The Tesla bequest book. FOI requires result uh, resulted with rejection due to classification. That's the interesting that they said they 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 FOI'd it and they came back that it was classified, which means they they have the Tesla files. Tesla stuff so, is classified. That's interest. Good. That's in Grant. That's very interesting. Yeah, because usually oh, people say very it's, interesting. It's missing. Is that's the name of a book, the Tesla Bequest? Yeah, I haven't read that one. I'm on that. John Greenwald, you need to put in an FOI way a on the Tesla Be Bequest book. Yeah. Um, I've never heard of that. New people. Okay, so there's a new guy came to the meeting from McDonnell Douglas. Sure no, I mean in, in that one with the Tesla thing. It's like. The book is known, but whatever information they got out of it, the FOIA request was rejection due to classification. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been that long. I guess we could request it again. New People, Bill Sager, McDonnell Douglas, organization yeah. A, should should I be interested? Reasonable, reasonable payoff. payoff. Is, is there going to be a reasonable payoff? Yeah. Establish management organization security and cover. It's the same thing to talk about for business Government and commercial, so they're going to sell the stuff to the government and commercial research plan. Bearden, oh, go up there, Bearden. That's uh, what's his name? That was uh, Tom Bearden, doing, yeah, yeah, Tom Bearden. They're talking about that's you think they're talking about Bill Souter, Bill Souter, support. yeah, Bearden work. So he's working. Oh, yeah, I remember John going, and John was interested in that too. So there's the phone number Bill Souter, McDonald Douglas <laughs> support to BDM, who will send documents. Could he visit us, Willie? So I guess they're going to bring this guy in. Okay, next page. This is the database. There again, they got Tesla under theories. Someone could ask Bearden if he ever. What's SUFT? Right here, Where? number 15. Um, this is the a homework theory. page. Uh, yeah, it appears to be somebody's theory because there's Williams and then whoever this. S -U -F -T. LA, Tesla, Williams. The, the first thing is all the stuff they've already done. It was with the yeah. uh, the valet put together the database and the There's AI Maccabees. And That's the other person that Ed Dames told me was there. And there Maccabee. it finally says Maccabee right there. Yeah, it's got Kufo, Safro, Maccabee, abduction. It's like Which that's was one like of the names databases. when Ed first told me he said Bruce Maccabee. Yeah, yeah. yep. Sensors. So there's the sensors, metal, soil, red goo. I guess they had a red goo sample somewhere. Soil <laughs> samples. They haven't collected soil samples for 25 years because there's no ground traces anymore. They're oh, that reminded me. Linda said her angel hair file was 1947 to 2000. Oh, okay. Yeah, but how? When's when's the latest? To so she's got a case in 2000. Yeah, that's yeah, what she's yeah. saying. Okay, yeah. that's 20 years ago. Results 22 years ago. Yeah. And the money. <laughs> money, was, money, money. You say 22 years ago, Nicole, it was yesterday for me. I, hey, I feel like it was yesterday too. Yeah. Samples, theory, sensor. That's the same stuff. Scroll, scroll ahead. 
I was 20 years old in 2000. That's, go, ahead, go ahead and scroll, Nicole. Go ahead and scroll. That's the end. It's theory sensors. That's the last end? page. That's the end. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Woo! So, so final comments. Let's have final comments from everybody, and then we'll close it down. Any last questions in the chat? I don't see it. So, Nicole, you're going to have to read oh. them off because I'm not looking. Yep. I got to tune back in. Hold on. I was thank you, out. everybody, for sitting through this. How long have we yeah. done? Jonathan, thank you. Go to sleep now. Jonathan, thank you for your help. Bob, thank you for your help. Bunch of stuff. Thank you. Thank you. And Tom, Tom, Tom. Yeah, Tom is saying Don Kerr was director of Los Alamos during the time. Tom, we're going to do a whole show on this. We're calling the whole disclosure crew back together again. That's what maybe, we're gonna... maybe, maybe you need the whole crew and their knowledge. Calling, yeah. all dis calling all disclosure panelists. And let, let me, my final comment will be to read Tom Whitmore's um, comment at Nicole Sackage. The Wilson Davis notes actually say, quote, AP-10 meeting at BDM, close yep. quote. But that, that's my final comment that was the star that was the uh, and that's, highlight of the meeting. And, and and this resolves any question to anybody questioning what that meant we now know exactly what it meant because hey, we all, we already knew i you and me grant we knew what it meant but to everyone else out in ufology now we have an absolute and in fact that same name is in these notes by oak it's there just the tie the cross correlation tie in you, you, you guys, anyone who doesn't think that that meeting took place now is just nuts because there's the evidence is piling up so overwhelmingly. Well, we have to start a hashtag. So this hashtag AP10. AP10, that'll be a new hashtag. hashtag we got a hashtag. Hashtag everything as AP10. So AP-10. Or, or, AT, or ATP-10. AP ATP-10. No, you'd use the one that they used. AP okay, use the one that 10. they use. AP. AP dash ten. Advanced yeah. physics. Dash and ten. Group. Yep. Thank yep. you, Tom. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna yeah, go for coffee, you, and then I'm thank gonna get you. ready for Dave Scott. Oh my gosh! Yes, tune into Spaced Out Radio. And I and I have a tour tonight. I'm gonna take people to actually look at UFOs. So we're gonna actually yep. go out and do okay. some research. Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. And yeah, we'll continue. This I think, it, you know, we were we were silly, but I hope we kept everyone entertained. And I really I feel, hey, it brought me extreme clarity and I'm even all familiar with this stuff. So hopefully it brought great clarity to everybody. And again, we're supporting the research, the evidence. No, like we will keep going through this. That's the whole point. I mean, with Jimmy's eyes on it. Jay's eyes on it, Grant's mine, yours, Dave's, you know, like the word, get the word out, share these around, everybody analyze it, like, tell us what you think. Tell Write us what you think, comments. what did we yeah. miss, where are we wrong, you know, and we is, can be wrong. And is and then in the end, we'll gather up who has the most stars, but right now, Melinda's <laughs> winning one to nothing. Oh. <laughs> okay, good night, I'm taking off. Now, Grant, okay. you owned Oak's Notes, so you win, you're the winner there. <laughs> There, I, right. I have to figure out my technology here. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, Melinda. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you too, honey. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Thank you. We'll talk Great. soon. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you, too. Mwah. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I'm leaving. <laughs> I know. All right, YouTube. This was so crazy. I, I knew it would be around four hours. Like, honestly, I knew that. <laughs> And we went four and a half. So I really wanted to break Richard Dolan's um, five hour fun fest that he did on the Wilson documents. Like I thought we were giving him a run for his money. So honestly, please, um, everybody go back and check out Project Unity's wonderful interview that they did with Oak Shannon and then go check out Fade to Black. And then rewatch my stuff with Grant and Melinda. And please check out Space Start Radio tonight. And just for fun, please leave me some comments in my comments or here in the chat room. Like, you guys, I'm bored a lot lately. Should I do a regular Nicole Sackett show or not? Or do I need to work on my technical skills before I give this a go? Let me know. I would appreciate it either through my messenger or in the comments. And I'm going to give out a warning. 
Every single time I interview Melinda Leslie, I get comments about how much she talks. Don't leave the comments. We love that Melinda talks a lot. So don't do that on my channel either. No Larry Warren and don't complain about my guests talking too much. The whole point is to talk. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.